go. Live, here we are, Saturday Night Live Zoom, once again, with all you beautiful souls. <laughs> Where else would you want to be? <laughs> Somewhere eating. <laughs> Uh, tonight we have the special guest who was our first no show, Oliver. <laughs> how are you doing, Oliver? Hey, how are you doing? Excellent. You? Great, how are you doing, Gina? Freaking amazing. Freaking amazing. It only gets better. Great. It only yeah. gets better. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> so, we're going to give yeah. the floor to you. Yeah, right. <laughs> to share yeah some of your mfs experiences you know how you uh yeah up, uh, what led you yeah to my upbringing mm -hmm. so i was the, the specific zoom, right? incarnation yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> this um specific life i'm living started in new jersey america and i grew up you know, standard American diet, anything and everything for up until I was 11, I saw this video about, you know, animals being tortured and all. So I was like, whoa, that's really, really intense. So I just like went hardcore vegan for however many years. And then this one particular episode at my friend's house, the father prepared this meat and I said, Um, I don't want to have it and I could feel that he was so I and then on and off vegan until uh, eight I went hardcore vegan again <laughs> time I got introduced into the room and I got into that a bit. Oliver you're, you're, you're cutting that in and out a little bit or a couple hello yeah <laughs> oh, okay yeah um, yeah <laughs> Yeah. Can, do you, Is this are, the best place? Are you on a phone or Wi-Fi? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm connected to Wi-Fi right now. Okay. But can you get can you get closer to it? Um uh I let me see. <laughs> Just to see if we can get a better connection, because you're cutting out. Yeah. Um. Is, Hello, it, is it better now? <laughs> um, I, think I think so. Maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Let's keep going. Keep, keep going and see how it goes. Yeah. All right, cool. So, yeah, I was vegan on and off for a... Uh, years and years and then when i got into the fasting and enemas i was in flight school in florida and i had there's this like oxygen mask with a tube and i cut it with just just having the tube and then i put it into a bowl like a mixing bowl with a scotch tape right <laughs> and i siphoned the water and just put it you know above the shower and just got just got it done and the attachment to get it into the anus i used a just a, one of those cheap, you know, little bottles from the store that you <laughs> squeeze it. <laughs> and the tip from that, I just stuck on fit. It stuck right in there and it's no glue, nothing. It worked last for a couple of years. <laughs> wow. But um, never got an end of a bag. It was right from that to the cleaning board, which is, and I, oh my, as long as that cleaning board's in the bathroom, I could go out and, you know, ex help experience whatever, have a little taste of this and that. And then as long as I come back and that cleaning board's there, it's all good. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, and um, you made yeah, I got own. into the enemas. What was that? You made your own. You you made oh, your sorry. own what? cleaning board. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, I made my own at first, yeah. and uh, <laughs> yeah, it was freaking awesome. <laughs> and it, it fell more times than I could count because it was not, you know, I had a siphon, I had to like suck it through and get it going. It's <laughs> just to, like, wow. but it was, it was I was a hooked to the enemas it's just awesome i could do i went like lemon cayenne and cayenne was crazy because oh, i didn't oh, know man. yeah uh, probably a bit much in there 
But um, less, less is more, right? As we learn no. you know, again and again. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Anyway, yeah, and um, got into the fasting a bit. This was 2007, like the beginning. Yeah, beginning of 2017, I got, it was like the first juice fast I did. And then when I had food at my grandmother's house, it's like avocado and beans, black beans, but it was just so different to that with, you know, just any kind of difference, like to humble myself and then have that experience, you know, some kind of, cause all my life I'm eating, eating, eating out fasting and then you finally fast and you get that difference of, you know, it's like, wow, there's, there's something else to experience here, you know, a little something of anything. And then, uh, I came across the MFS page or it came across me more, more so, <laughs> you know, and uh, just was so interested and pulled in by the, you know, what everyone's talking about. I'm like, well, all right, you know, I'm just, you know, just listening, listening, and then, you know, trying, you know, mixing in the grape juice with the juice and try that. But it's like, you don't want to, you know, I didn't have the full set, so I didn't want to say I, I'm doing it or anything until I get the full set. And then the springtime came along my birthday. And that's when I finally ordered the first herbal, like the first set of herbs. And I was playing around the psyllium hush ratio and all that beforehand. So that was like the big, you know, expensive or, you know, whatever mm -hmm. big shot that I got. And yeah. And since then I've been on and off just, loving <laughs> just riding these waves and when you're on mfs and you're in that fasted state it gives you the clarity and the opportunity to work out the emotional you know things you have to work out with family or friends or jobs or you know whatever challenges we're experiencing in the school that you know have to be worked out so you just you know it gives you that opportunity because mfs is a tool doesn't do anything it just gives you that you know choice if you want to you know do this work or not and um exactly yeah slowly but surely chipping away yeah <laughs> so and then yeah it's it's just interesting how it's all working out so uh <laughs> your 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 first one how long did you go i can't remember now it was 14 days it wasn't anything uh crazy but it gave me you know any sort of idea like lots of stuff was coming out. i was like whoa Oh, <laughs> everyone's asking questions. Everyone's curious. Everyone's concerned. I'm like, no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Kidneys are doing great. <laughs> but I wasn't on the, uh, I was taking a 12th of what, so I, you know, stopped it. We were lost. Realized after all the times, really shit, I'm taking, I'm supposed to be taking big hits and uh, Jonathan Menko Bonnie was over in Florida. He's like, yeah, you're supposed to be, you, you got, you still got a lot of herbs. You're supposed to be taking bigger hits, bro. You're supposed to. And I took that first big hit and I was like, whoa. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I've been uh, getting a better gauge of, you know, how much is, you know, to hit myself with, <laughs> with the herbs. Um, yeah. And and at first the herbs taste like all you know funky and crazy, but after the more you get out and the more layers you're out, is the more you know it feels mm -hmm. more and more just nothing. It's more just you know you just start, like a calm breeze. Yeah, you start enjoying the flavor. Uh, the more you clean up, the more you enjoy the flavors. Yeah, yeah. So uh, what uh, what was the longest one you did? Uh, it was 27 days in Florida, and that was that was without the full dose. Because as I'm doing this, life is just unfolding before me. I'm like, okay, okay, I've got to make sure all the dots are connected here. But um, I, I just kept hitting the tinctures anytime I could, and just fasted. It was fasted state the whole way through, and it it's like what. And when I ate again, it was just like wow. Like there's still so much work to do here. It's not even not even the beginning of like it's never ending. Just whoa. Yeah. yeah, it's you know it's that it's the journey, and this is the challenge to get through to people and the instant gratification. 
false <laughs> instant gratification world we live in. Everybody's looking for to be stimulated left, right, and center. And if they don't get their stimulation, they're not doing well. Is what they believe, and that's the, that, that's the uh, the misinformation that's out there, right? Stimul they're, they're taking on stimulations like it's something good for you, mm -hmm. and whether it's uh, yeah. a drug, food, uh, frequency, whatever, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, computers. There's many stimulations out there that people are running on coffee. So it's, it's, it's endless. And uh, once you take them all away, yeah. people are just lost. And <laughs> what's going on? You know, what I mean, the mirrors of truth. Yeah. Like who's <laughs> left? <you know? laughs> Yeah. That's intense, man. It's like people coming right into it's, you know, small doses or you might, you know, slow and steady wins the race, right? Like, but it's, it's the truth though. It's the truth. You know, it's, you know, sooner or later you got to check it out and see what's going on. <laughs> right. Yeah, or not. Everybody can do whatever they want. You got free will. <laughs> and that's. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. You can't yeah, can only guide, right? Only encourage. This is this is the outcome we see in uh, on this beautiful Mother Earth from uh, people's choosing their free will and you know taking uh, yeah their selfish needs and so on and so forth and just taking taking taking. Mm -hmm. Eventually, everything catches up as it's happening, and we pay the consequences as humanity. Um, so. Yeah, Lots to learn. But you're just a young chap. Yeah, it's time like, to give, right? You're you're uh, taking, like, taking, take. You're you're only in your twenties. The or universe something? just wants to pull right out of you to give. Yeah. Can, did you hear me? No. You, you cut out. <laughs> oh, uh, it cut out when you close it. <laughs> I said you're you're young, right? What's your year? Twenty something. Uh, yeah, twenty two currently. Um, May. May's the birthday. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Uh, <laughs> to see the uh, the young generation all jumping in into this is it's just awesome. Yeah, yeah, man. It's a it's a, it's a challenge, but it's worth it because it makes it that you know the trough crest kind of deal. So it's definitely worth the contrast and experience in life to be here and you know experience it while I'm here. You know, mm -hmm. instead of passing through it numb, like however many you know generations that yeah good for you that's amazing yeah mature yeah. at a young age you know good for you yeah yeah no. yeah it's it's quite interesting that you know i got i got some stuff to work with you know <laughs> <laughs> there's still time I and mean, there's always time right people on their deathbed can come back and it's inspirational to see that Everything's possible. Like uh, yeah, every single thing is possible. If you don't believe it, then that's your reality, right? <laughs> right, exactly. From the mind, it starts. Right, yeah. The yeah, things that true. people have overcome is just you know, it's, it's awesome. It's, it's phenomenal. Um, yeah. You know, yeah. We, we, we we start getting into that realm of trusting soul. Everything changes. Uh, that's that's really mm -hmm. what it's all about, and you don't have to think about anything. Everything works out in autopilot, right? And it's just yeah, you're, yeah. A, you're a pilot, right? <laughs> I do got the license, so, so I you, just gotta get the uh, biannual or get an add-on and it's good to go. <laughs> so do you, do you use autopilot in your plane? Yeah. Do, do you use autopilot? <laughs> Yeah, people are. Hello. I'm down to work. So. <laughs> You're cutting out. Hello. Hello. We lost him. <laughs> Maybe he'll he'll come back in again. There you go. There you go. We lost him. Oh, I heard that part. Um, to you, yeah. <laughs> I said the plane you fly does it have autopilot? Uh, well, I didn't get up to the, you know, computerized autopilot, but the trim on the aircraft is called the poor man's autopilot. So, oh. you know, <laughs> just controls the elevation so you don't have to be tugging on the yoke all the time. So it's... Right. So you, you know, once you... Thing you, there. Once you click that on, you don't have to think about it, right? It's the flight. 
itself. So if you just let go, it just it's. Are there like now the planes? Many of them are autopilot. Autopilot in planes has gone way, way, way back. They started with uh, autopilot, from my understanding. So it's like a button they click and it just takes care of itself, and mm -hmm. until they land, so take off and landing. So all the new, the big planes, they do everything. Yeah, like <laughs> right. Them. Hello. We lost them again. Hello. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. It's uh, in and out. But you said the autopilot since the beginning. It's like I, from what I've read, this autopilot came a long time ago. They started playing with yeah. autopilot. <laughs> like in, in, you know, just after they started building the first planes, right? Right. So yeah. that's uh, the, the, what I'm trying to say is once you click that on, even though it's a poor man's autopilot, you don't have to worry about that section of the plane, right? It's all. Same right, thing right. as when you jump into the realm of long digestive vacations. And you trust in soul. You don't have to think about it. it, it it's, it's working on its own, right? It's autopilot. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to, you don't have to, when you get a cut, you don't have to think about healing that cut. It's going to do it automatically, right? So when we're in that digestive vacation, um, you know, that's where the stuff on the inside starts happening and, and working and, and correcting itself and finding balance. Again, oh, yeah. Right? Very simple. So we, we take out... All the thought process, throw it out the window, and you know, let, tell the monkey mind to go yeah. uh, go take a hike for a while. <laughs> right, right, big time. <laughs> so, uh, when was it? Last year was it that you came up here in Toronto? Wasn't around. I I thought I'd make it back. I drove my car to the coast and just. I think I shared a bit of it. I just walked. It was totally. I was feeling that. <laughs> you're, you're cutting in and out, Oliver. It's hard to hear what you're saying. Um, yeah, yeah. When was it you came here? Um, was it a year ago? When you came? I think it was winter. No. Was it summer? Yeah, no, it was about a year ago because he came over to see you pretty much when nearly just after I started. And I remember he put the videos up. Right. And you, you took you took Oliver for a drive somewhere, Gino, and <laughs> Oliver got you something. Uh, I remember every oh, my memory oh, yeah. so clear. I know, I know it all. I can even tell you Oliver's story. He wouldn't even know. I can tell it. For you. <laughs> I didn't know that one. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, he was, <laughs> we went to go bring my mother to where was it swimming? I think. Okay. At that time, yeah. <laughs> and he went with you. <laughs> yeah, we dropped her off and we came back. <laughs> and then we yeah, went. Yeah, Gina. Yeah, Gina was in the car. <laughs> he was driving, and all of us in. I think he was in the passenger seat or something. <laughs> <laughs> Did we lose him, mm. Oliver? Mm. Hello. Yeah, I think you've lost him. Oh, here he is. Yeah. You're muted, Oliver. Uh, can you guys hear me now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so it was the last year, right? That you came up in the summer, was it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, it was, it was August time. August. We had a nice day. It was just, you're showing me all the things and all the stages of your life. I did, did you know the you know, sprouts and this is the garden and this is the you know ozonated all the tools and i'm like wow that's pretty damn cool man <laughs> Got all and the tea that was nuts the more herbs than water tea holy crap mm. that was that was an experience i was like this is like a soup right now so I'm just, <laughs> it's like the soup i've ever tasted in my life <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm starting to load up the fridge with the herbs from around here i'm picking here and there awesome. for the uh winter time uh, yeah, yeah. Where are you now? <laughs> so, uh, I'm in Alpine, Oregon. It's a small town, 200 people. On the way back from the drive, I met this guy Jim that lives right up the street, and you know he's been around. He knows, you know, quite a colorful life. And I just feel like, yeah, let's like weave this little community together. It's only 200 people. Let's get to know each other. So he's been introducing me to all these folks, and <laughs> I was just like, heck yeah. 
and you know grow their own stuff this one neighbor whale had a zucchini like huge zucchini I'm, holy crap and she's like yeah we grow this stuff here i'm like awesome you know and i'm uh joining the loop slowly and surely and it's just great to get to know all the people that you know and i uh keeping in touch with the family it's been a you know roller coaster up and down as the layers start to come off and you know how to work out but I called my mom yesterday and it was just such a beautiful experience. It was like she was a child. We're just talking like children. Mm-hmm. And it just felt so good to be together on that wavelength instead of me, you know, projecting my own anger through her or projecting my own imbalances through her and, you know, pointing a finger. It was just like, hey, mom, how are you? Mm-hmm. And, you know, just how's the simple stuff? How's your day? Oh, you know, I just got out of the shower and you know, just, uh and, was, and and I just called right in front of my, was, I had two friends there, Jim and his friend, Josh, we picked up from the airport, flew in from Cali. He's like, I just called call my mom. I'm like, no, let me call my mom right now. Just a speakerphone in front of everyone. Like, I need this because there's no, because I knew there's nothing wrong with calling my mom. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any siblings? Yeah, two siblings, Amber and Chloe, two sisters, both older. They're uh, in New Jersey right now. And, you know, they're still, you know, connected with family, still hang out, you know, have dinner, help out, this and that. Nice. Um, they're both, the oldest one is really into dancing, hardcore, and then the middle one is into hairdressing. So that's like their art and their, you know, mastering journey of what they, you know, enjoy their craft, I should say. Yeah. Yeah. Their dance. Yeah. <clears throat> so. Nice. So you're the baby of the family? Yeah, um, baby. <laughs> I always say, like, we got to help all these children of Earth. And then, you know, the other time I'm like, I'm a child, too. You know, <laughs> I'm a baby, just, you know, just like everyone. <laughs> Never grow so, up. And your mom yeah. is living on her own by herself or she's. Uh... Yeah, yeah. She I think she has a this partner, Milanko, from um, or some, you know, came over to America and. I, I'm not sure she hasn't mentioned him in a while, but I uh, want to touch base and see how he's doing and, you know, how's, you know, because if my mom's, you know, connected with that guy, I want to know who this guy is. But, uh, yeah, uh, you uh, know, get to know him. I'm not together, right? Yeah. Not dead? yeah, yeah, they separated when I was young, but it's all good now. Like, it's all, it's really calming down now, but most of the life is like, ah, but now it's like, all right. Yeah. It's it all hard. good. It's all, you know. Beginning, middle, and end. Yeah. <laughs> Close the chapter, and everyone in my family's feeling it. It's like it's a lot more chill. Um, everyone I talk to, it's like I could talk to them. They understand. It's like, all right, yeah. You know, take your, we take ourselves through that. You know, That's great. Kind of. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Walk us through some of the experiences when you were uh, uh, into oh, yeah. the massacre. Yeah. When I came back, I hit, it was like a 17 day with the full herbs, just as many Kalimas as I could do back at um, uh, Six Pepper Road. is like this really big house that, um, it's coming to the end now, but there's this really big house that, you know, all the family stuff went down in the, the father's mansion, should I say. And <laughs> And uh, I was just ripping Kalima after Kalima. My mom's slamming on the bathroom door like, well, you're going to puncture your intestines. What are you doing? I'm like, mom, just trust me. <laughs> like, like, I got to, you know. <laughs> so, and then one night it was just like, I felt like I was dying for half an hour. I was like some, you know, parasite release. I was just like, whoa. And it was just ran for the enemas. Like, didn't matter it's like you know dry or this or like i have to be dry at night i'm like i gotta do animals right now and it's just uh it, the relief was just oh uh, so good mm-hmm. to get get all like just to get movement going you know like mm-hmm. so the body starting to release another layer so uh first thing's the enema right oh. didn't, <laughs> yeah. didn't uh didn't she didn't uh, you go get a colonic with rana yeah. oh yeah yeah she got her good <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was an experience. <laughs> and uh, my friend Anjali was, was there to witness the, you know, the release. <laughs> you know, like they got an audience going, cheering me on. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, the Master Festers definitely have a different release. Um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah it's, <laughs> it's not easy to forget. Yeah, a lot of interesting yeah. stuff comes out. <laughs> anymore, you know, it's more like the plaque and God knows sometimes parasites and mucus. Yeah. So deeper stuff, maybe um, bile. So it's different. Yeah. yeah. When, when people are on a lot of animal products, it's all uh, gluey. Mm, yeah. The, uh, the feces is very sticky. Right? Oh, boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the, the orders are another problem but <laughs> yeah. yeah same thing with grains i mean if you know yeah. if you're eating vegan but heavier vegan um, right. oils and grains and legumes that's yeah. also very sticky the oils oh yeah <laughs> that's many yeah very obstructive yeah a lot of a lot of uh levels to you know experience here yeah infinite it's infinite yeah whoa <laughs> there's right there's no beginning there's no end they just keep going we just keep going and enjoy and embrace yeah all, right? <laughs> yeah practicing practice <laughs> yeah anything else you want to share Um, hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> it's your floor. Oh, the instruments, my, yeah, yeah. So I've been, uh, <laughs> I've been getting back into guitar and it's just such a nice, quiet, open space here that, you know, I'm learning that it's okay to express myself in various ways. So you know, picking back up the guitar and seeing, being inspired by, you know, my roommate, Victor, that's been, you know, I'd say he's a master at the guitar. He's pretty damn good. And he sings too. He taught me how to sing on the guitar and I'm like writing my own yeah. songs and stuff like that. And it's just all starting to flow a lot easier to, you know, share the, you know, life that I've had and the emotions I've been through is more, you know, easy to share through song and things like that. It's like, are you guys tuning to the number of creation? Oh yeah, four thirty-two. I gotta, uh, I gotta get a little thing, like a little thing that can test to see to you know set it just on that number. But um, by ear, Victor was teaching me to do it by ear to to tune it out. But, but um, yeah, that'd be something cool to get into to get it on four thirty-two and amplify it even more, right? And make the audience go to sleep <laughs> yeah there's online tone tone uh tuning things online the only you know tone yeah down. yeah you were showing me it was just like it was just one flat tone you're like oh yeah this one right here yeah just tune to that 432 right? yeah simple like no music no nothing this tone right here and i was like yeah <laughs> 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 everything lies within that tone yeah or 32. <laughs> it's all, all creation yeah. within that poem. You don't need anything else. And it's, it's just awesome, the simplicity of creation, right? Everything comes from right. that tone. You know, people are jumping in all around about all these different frequencies. Frequencies are limited to this matter state, right? We don't want to play right. frequencies. <laughs> We want to dwell in the uh, abyss of soul where, you know, the limitless realms, we, we can jump around and do whatever we want. <laughs> yeah, yeah, instantaneous, you know, putting your mind to whichever creation you'd like to experience and be there exactly when you want to be there. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, awesome. <laughs> Remember the? I think I, I, I think it was you that I let try the uh, disappearing water. Oh yeah, you said you you're, you're taking a good look at me, and you're like, let's let's make some disappearing water. I'm like, shit, all right, let's do it. And, you know, <laughs> where did it go? Where did it, I, I was drinking it? You were drinking. You're like, where does the water go? I don't know where the river leads to the ocean. Uh, all these, I don't. No one knows. No one knows. I don't know. Do you? 
<laughs> oh yeah, that was super cool. Yeah, that was an interesting discovery. <laughs> <laughs> Just this. <laughs> Wherever, wherever it wants to. <laughs> yeah. Anybody have any questions for Oliver? I want to know how his boomerang's going. Oh yeah, any questions? Oh yeah, right here, Ranji. You want to see this boomerang right now? Check yeah, this out. yeah, I want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> this boomerang, check this out. Got eyes oh on wow. It. I'm I'm going to teach a child how to throw this boomerang and I'm going to make more, you know, Jim, I mentioned he has a guy at the coast that makes boomerangs and he got his number and we're going to go visit the coast sometime soon and touch base. And I'll say, look at this. I want to make more for these children to throw around. <laughs> Does it work? <laughs> oh yeah, it works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's all on the wrist, brother. It's all on the wrist. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. It works, man. Oh. oh man, I'm excited too because this was just from the foreman. He had all this scrap wood. This is um this plywood's a little thicker, but the thinner ones is more strength than and I'm thinking ash plywood too, really strong. So to the view of the camera? Yeah. Yeah. Which end do you throw from? I just, what's that? Which side do you throw from? This this thinner end? Oh, so it whether you're a lefty or a righty, the painted side of it, the airfoil, you see how it's flat on this side? Yeah. And then the airfoil, where the air has to travel faster across to make a suction to go that way, that side faces towards you when you throw it. So if I'm a righty, I'm going to throw it like this with this face towards me. So then okay. it, it goes around towards the, you know, where it's sucking towards as it cuts through the air yeah <laughs> and um oh man i made a huge one too it broke and then i burned the broken one to release the energy of the boomerang waking i'm like okay the next big one i make we won't have that problem <laughs> <laughs> so, oh man i'm just freaking excited man and the coast is nice because there's a nice breeze and you work with the breeze you work with the wind to help it bring it back to you instead of you know you know um just like the trim just like the autopilot you know so I'm I'm excited. It was <laughs> you catch it on its way back. Oh yeah, you could catch it. You just clap it between your hands. When it comes back, I saw a professional do it, and he was wearing a glove, and it came back so fast it didn't float down. It he just threw it, and it came back exactly where he wanted to catch it. I was like, wow. master, mastery. I was like, whoa! I want to learn how to do that. How the heck do I? You know, how do I even start? Because usually when I throw it, it comes back real soft and gentle and comes down and I just clap it between my hands. But this guy was like, whoosh, 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 just. Nice. Wow, nice. <laughs> That's, oh my gosh. What they, yeah, I'm just excited about the journey. Just, what did they use those originally for hunting? Yeah, they used to use it for hunting. It didn't have an airfoil and it was sharp on both ends. So it's just a straight shot when you throw it. All right. And it's just super sharp pointed, but now it's all, you know, soft and curved and wavy. So, <laughs> <laughs> safe for the kids, you know. <laughs> 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 so it's coming together. Awesome. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> um yeah. Oh, the sauna. We're working on a sauna out there. Uh, it's in the final stages, and it's got a wood-burning stove in there. I didn't even notice, too. I'm like, it's just funny, because the, the guy Eden that's, you know, in charge of the property, or, you know, no one's in charge. We all, you know, but we all do our best. But they're, his family is the one that owns it, and then he's the child of that family. So he's, you know, kind of overseeing the things that happen here. And I was, we, you know, occasionally work on this sauna, and um, it's just, it's all cedar on the inside and you could smell it. I'm like, wow, that's nice. <laughs> and this whole time, see, I got a sauna out here. I didn't even realize that that little shed over there is a sauna right over there. Mm -hmm. oh, Hello. You. I think you're, you're muted. Mid. Hold on, hold on. I'm mute. 
Yeah. Oh. What happened? Oliver, you're muted. Oh, do you see that? Oh, there you are. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little um hut out there and it's super cool. Yeah. <laughs> working on the yeah, the second triangle I'm working on. <laughs> does it does it get very cold in winter where you are? Um, it, it can get cold. I'm in the valley, so it's not, you know, mountain cold. In Oregon, in the more in the middle, it gets super cold in the mountains and like Crater Lake and Mount Hood and stuff like that. But in the valley, it's a little bit more, um, you know, moist, more air, more uh, rain, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. there can be snow occasionally, but it's not heavy, heavy snow or bitter, bitter cold. Maybe a couple of days out of the winter, it can mm -hmm. get like that but yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> anybody else Oliver said he's going to come down to Australia because he wants, I want him to feel oh, the yeah, salt. You're yeah, I want you to feel the <laughs> aboriginals. <laughs> yeah, you're coming. Yeah, feel the, oh my gosh, yeah. I'm going to take you to Steve Irwin's land. Yeah. That's, oh, where, that's yeah. where I'm at the moment. Oh, really? Wow. Nice. Yeah, he's going to, everybody's going to come. You too. Oh, Steve, yeah, we're going to have a big grape juice Jeremy, party. Yeah. Hans, yeah. Hans Peters is going to come up from Sydney, so he's just got to fly it up. It's only 50 bucks on um, Air Asia or something like that. Right. Angelica's <laughs> going to come because I want to hear a spiritual awakening. Crystal, and who else is here? They're all going to come, Gina. Let me see. Um, yeah. it's, in my, it's in my realm, <laughs> so it has to manifest. Elaine's definitely yeah. coming because she's got no choice. And who else is Jeremy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve, yeah. hey, is this Steve Peniel? The is he? Yeah, well, you're coming to Australia anyway. They're, they're all coming. I don't know it yet. That I I played it in the realm. You know what you got to do. That's what you got to do, don't oh, you? Yeah. Don't Bring you, um, Oliver? Don't you, Oliver? You got to do it in the realm. That's how you're learning how to play the guitar. It's all in the realm. Yeah. And then he manifested in the matter, matter world. It just takes a bit of time. Mm. But now I know how to speed it up, Gina. You're coming. You yeah, know, yeah. so I'm gonna be speeding it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, I know. Me too. Steve's coming. We You're coming, Steve. Together. Yeah. <laughs> Look, they're all nodding their head. You <laughs> see that? <laughs> <laughs> the big island. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's why I show you the videos. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I'm not going to let you go down to Sydney, New South Wales. I'm not going to let you go down to Hans Peters Land. <laughs> <laughs> they're all they're all welcome here too. Don't worry about that. So are you, Angie? Yeah, like it's yeah. We're all one family. Well, yeah, that's right. But I right. thought of you this morning because there were people rowing on the ocean. I thought, oh man, I might as well jump on that and go oh, to yeah. Hans Peter down in Sydney. <laughs> 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 and they're probably out in surfboards, aren't they? Oh, yeah, surfboats. Yeah, yeah. If you see my video, I've got, got some. There's some videos of people surfing and um, <laughs> doing that. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's good fun. It's that is good fun. No doubt about it. Yeah, and I'll pick up Jeremy on the way because he's just down the Gold Coast. I'll pick him up. That's it. <laughs> in the car you get, and off you go. No, no, we'll just go on, go on the rowboat. We'll come down that way because um, Jeremy, um, Jeremy's on a high at the moment. He's like day seventy something or something like that. He's uh, well, he's he's in there. He's in he's in the realm. <laughs> let me let me give you a little, little advice. If you want to row down, you you gotta you you'll have plenty of blisters on your hands. Don't worry about that because <laughs> that's a trademark when you row. You got blisters all over your hands. Oh yeah, pulling pulling the stick. That's for sure. So you'll get that for sure. But hey, uh, Oliver, tell yeah. us a little bit. You know, with, with going through the fast and going, how do you deal with your friends? Like, how did they take it all? And did you have big confrontations there, or how did that all well, happen? Actually, when I first started, my friends were very supportive. My one friend, Jake Weiss, was like, I remember I was just totally on the first 14 day fast, I was just laying on the couch at PJ's house, and he comes up, he's like, 
he's like, yo, Zeus, yo, Zeus, how are your kidneys doing? I'm like, they're doing great. They're doing great. I'm just, you know, it's, it's I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> so, you know, they, you know, check in on me and make sure that, you know, everything's all right. And I appreciate that they, you know, care in that way. And, you know, sometimes they're interested in, you know, ask questions, this and that. I'm like, well, shit, man. Well, hell yeah, you could join. You know, this is the page. This is the stuff. This is what we do. And, you know, buy the Kalima board. Buy, I'll make a Kalima board for you. Get freaking start washing <laughs> that colon out. It feels nice. <laughs> start, start releasing those chunks. Exhale the chunks. You know, give the body room to exhale more. You know, just keep digging it out. You know, you know shovel by shovel. It's no, no rush, no rush. As exciting as I get, as excited as I get about it, I got to remember to say no rush, no rush. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's steady pace wins the race, that's for sure, yeah. And now, like, I mean, have any taken taken it on or, or is there more well, objection yeah. now? Or I, I feel like if they took it on and, like, because, you know, I have a great deal of new friends the past couple of years when I got to the, the raw fasting and stuff that – you know, done the fasting and stuff like that, but they haven't done the MFS, you know, mm. it's a whole different level. So, you know, here and there I mentioned it, but now it's like when I'm on MFS, it's all I mentioned because I'm like, guys, you know, check this out. And, everyone, you know, once I'm a couple of weeks in, everyone's like, holy shit, what are you doing? I'm like, yeah, master your fast system, but it's on Facebook. You gotta be able to check this page out. <laughs> So, and my sister's on it, friends are on it that, you know, have at least joined the group. That's the first step, right? So now they're in that, you know, we're all there when we first joined the group. And we're like, whoa, what's everyone talking about? What the hell is going on here? Like, what are you, all these releases and, yo, whoa, great. What? <laughs> there's just, hey, you know, being there's silly. A lot, of, and, um, there's a lot of shit going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's precisely, yep. Oh, yeah. yeah the, the shittiest page the, the, you're the shittiest that? page on the internet. <laughs> the shittiest page, exactly. Yeah. It's like, here, get it out over here. In the past, Please get it out. Yeah. Uh, photos of our pool, you know, and then some people got disgusted, so we didn't do that as much anymore. But uh, we used to, we used to say it's the shittiest page online. You know, <laughs> there was so much pool. All yeah. <laughs> some a lot of unique shit that goes down here. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of stuff. Well, you see, I think you're in a very good position because my looking back when I was your age and I was doing sport and even when I did sport, you see, like in my country, we, we didn't have a very good system, meaning we weren't, that, that the system actually didn't create very good sportsmen. Yeah. So it was all based on individual strength that you had to have or a talent that you had. Right. And when I then got on to come, oh yeah, got a, had got the hang of systems how to get better in sport or in my sports. And then I saw the simplicity of how you actually how simple it is to actually become a world champion. That then sort of in yeah, and then from that moment on, you always looked wherever you, whatever you do, you look for a system. And when you have something like we have here now, that you actually have got a system yeah. and you've got to just trust and have faith in it and go with it. And then how you can see how it carries you, you know, and that you become right. something that you couldn't do on your own, but because you have a system that supports that and gets nature back into you. I find that's very good, you know what I mean? Like, see, if, when I started, if somebody would have said to me, well, why don't you eat that dog shit over there and it make you a faster rower, I would have done that, you know what I mean? <laughs> but at the end, it's, it's, it's when you then feel that the, the truth comes through as well because, see, then all these people say, oh, you know, maybe you should do this, maybe you should do that. But that's all right. going yeah. into side streets, you know, it distracts you from anywhere else. Once, you, once yeah. you see a system and you... You know, it, it just comes to you. It's like, this is correct. This is right. This has goes from A to Z all the way through. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where you're in a very good position because at your age, if I would have had that, you know, I would have rode far longer. And as they had gone pr processed, but you see, sometimes you come, you see that you come to an intersection, you think, ah, which way to go? You know, which way do I take? I don't know. So then you start sitting on the fence 
And then you think, oh, okay, which, you know, like I've got to wait till somebody else comes and shows me because it's very hard for you to make sometimes decisions in that regard. But as I said, when you, when you have something like that, like this M- MFS, then you're in, in very good company, you know what I mean? And you can say, yeah. look, you know, these people, they don't just talk out of their ass, they shit out of their ass, but they don't talk out of their ass. So yeah, that's that makes a huge difference, you know what I mean? In that way. And, and up from that, you know, it's, it's great because as you said, it, it, you've got time on your side, and you can see how even older people yeah, see how they progress through and improve, you know, because that's what we're here for. We want to improve ourselves. We want to get more truth to ourselves so that we can see things very clear and understand things much better. Yeah. And I find that very, um, yeah. So it's good, good for you that you are um, in that position because I wish I was 22 again in that way. You know what I mean? So I could yeah. do a lot of things. But... That's the way it is, you know. <laughs> now, has Peter, now we all turn 20 next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm, yeah. 20, I'm 20 with Oliver, Jeremy, yeah, yeah. Jeremy and all these people. I'm, I'm back in there. Yeah, sorry, I forgot that. Yeah, I was just uh, slip <laughs> me my <mind. laughs> You're coming with me. That's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. But that's good. I mean, and as I said, Oliver, just, you know, because... <laughs> The hurdles that come, the hurdles that are there, are all easy to yeah. take, and it's just a matter of being persistent. You know, I like just keep doing it, and, and that's why I ask. You know, with, the, with friends and all that, is he very simple saying? Friends come and go, and enemies accumulate. That's all it right, is. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, for me, that always happens because you can't you can't be friends with everybody. Trust me, you can't. It's just. Some people are so strange and yeah, become exactly. so strange, in particular when you search for truth, that what, what, what choice have you got? I mean, you don't want to, like, tell anybody off, but sometimes you just got to go different ways. See, you know, you go that way, right. I'll go just that like way. Sorry. Leave. Yeah. Yeah. We have to respect each other, right? Yeah. Our differences. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm actually quite amazed. Um, I don't know if you had this experience, Oliver. But the amount of people, when I started my personal journey, how many people just left and all of a sudden now they're just all coming back. <laughs> like, you know, because you go through the journey. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. Like they want a piece of your divinity, right? Or they want a piece of what you're doing. They just want to exactly. suck that it's up. Like because, you're step, yeah. yeah. Actually, I've got a question for you, Oliver. It's like because you're a, on the operating Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's hear I've got a, question, got a question for you, mate. Um, because on the page there, people, uh, they've been um, fasting and now they're into their breaking situation. And you're pretty good because you've been fasting, breaking, yeah. fasting, breaking. I'd like to, yeah, yeah, if yeah. you could help other people, how you've mastered your breaking for others. Yeah. It's just the matter of not judging the bad to turn it into ugly. You know, going from good to bad, like quote unquote good to bad, because all experience is valid. It's emptiness. You know, it's, you know, it's what we take ourselves through the trough and the crest, the trough and the crest, you know, the flow of life, the flow of life. And at first, you know, because the programming in human consciousness right now is like, it's not okay to experience that. But you give yourself this room where it's operating table, you know, at first it's lonely, but the more you do it, the more you come back, the more you put one foot in front of the other, you're going to you know, start swimming like you're doing right now. You're swimming. You're swimming, sister. You're doing like, heck yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm freaking talking about. <laughs> do it a backstroke, do a little backstroke, you know, do a little, you know, breaststroke forward, nice and easy, <laughs> nice and easy, nice, you know, nice, clear, so, you know, just because you're on it. That fasting is like that, that blade's edge right in the middle, right in the middle of two. So you're, you're so flexible and so fluid to go adapt, to help, to yeah go to that whichever free soul that needs that mirror to to you know say you're not alone in that predicament we're all human we're all in human bodies on this planet together and it's so freaking okay to experience that right now and be who you are you know and i and it is freaking challenging when there's food inside your body it's challenging to you know feel that but it's inevitable it's like the snake off of a skin it's gonna happen either way so it's not 
anything I'm worried about. It's just the physical body. The physical stuff's easy. It's the emotional and mental stuff. That's the, you know, those real thick challenges where you're just alone in the forest and you throw a stick at a tree and the stick flies right back at your face. It's like, Oh, it was me the whole time. Holy shit. I'm the one that's doing this to, to myself, you know? So it's just the nothing wrong with eating, nothing wrong with fasting. It's all experience. It's all okay. You know, it's just, you, keep hitting those kalimas that's all i gotta say hit those kalimas and love each other <laughs> you, you talked about the, the opera you talked about the opera yeah. i call the internet yeah. or nature's operating table or eric called it the nature's operating table right but we've gone into the uh, limitless realm so we got to go with the universe operating table that operating table is not something here limitless it's and it's not a table where you're lying down. It's, it's it's in the limitless realms where you can do anything you yeah. want. Group. <laughs> that's nature. That's the universal operating table we're talking about, where the soul's an autopilot. And you're doing anything you want, and and you work group, and everything's just working dandy, right? <laughs> yeah. No, no need, no stagnation. Like the, <laughs> it's like when I'm watering the garden out there. The it's instead of gripping the hose and like trying to control the flow of the water. You just guide, let's say you could only guide, you guide the hose and the water flows and you don't judge, you just, that's where the water, you know, you're just a part of that process. You're a part of this, you know, divine puzzle and you play your part and you, you know, experience that experience. It's like, heck yeah, you feel the water come out and hit the plants and the plants are like, yeah, because <laughs> it's in August, man. It's first, you know, you got to make sure everyone's, everyone gets their drink and, you know, water will shower. So we're um yeah. we're, we're cooking. <laughs> we're uh you know I love opening how, the structure. <laughs> I, I love how you're not judging the experiences, you know. And you know, I mean, I also have been fasting yeah. this yeah. summer, fasting for maybe uh, two weeks or nine days or whatever, and then eating again, and then fasting, and then eating. Of course, it feels much easier. Life feels much easier when you're fasting. The flow is much yeah. It's, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Once it's um, once it's out of your stomach and it's all you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's easy for us to judge ourselves. Yeah. It's easy for us to judge ourselves. So. Right, big time. Because that's all it is is ourself. Yeah. I love how you're um, like uh, you're showing everyone that it's about uh, you know accepting the experience. You know, just live it because yeah, it's part of the journey. Um, Exactly. What did it happen? Um, yeah. but is it more, is life easier? And is, is it easier to flow in life when you're fasting? Definitely. Um, so. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, there is, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an experience at the end of the day. I mean, uh, another thing is like one week I would find myself feeling amazing, of course, fasting. And then another day I feel my, I, I'm trapped again in the food and I feel like I want to eat again, you know? So it, it's really like, but I was just feeling amazing yesterday. So what happened? You know, like how come my experience changed right. so fast? The, the change is so fast, you know. Um, but yeah. But also, you know that you have the power. You know you can feel either way because you are in control of your yeah. Uh, like no matter what, it's gonna be all right. Like go down the crazy river, go down the calm river, go down the blue, the yellow river. Everything's to the ocean. It's all you know, it's all, we're all riding in water. So who am I to judge someone riding in wacky water? If I'm riding in calm water, it's both water, you know, yeah. but yeah, we have you know, to, it does get, yeah. You yeah. have to be careful not to judge other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very easy to judge them because we were where they were right. and we have experienced both. So it's very easy to judge others, but uh, yeah, we want to, to be compassionate. We want, we want to be as, understanding and loving as possible and i think this comes with more and more, mm -hmm. more fasting less judgment yeah yeah when you fast it clears out the mm -hmm. yeah and, and just observing yeah. humans and how humans are you know like that it's just an observation without judgment and we have experienced yeah. it we were there it's a trap yes in a way but it's a funny thing because you know there's everybody has the power <laughs> so at least exactly well, it's a, maybe we can look at it as a, as a funny thing, you know, that humans go through. Yeah, like humor is the most effective thing to do in yeah. any situation. Put a little humor in yeah. there. My That's dad taught me that. And 
situation was just like he's always like leave him laughing leave him laughing you know he always says something that you know sparks something in them and they you know get a little giggle out of you know no matter how serious they are he says something and they just totally soften like, i'm like how the hell does my dad do that i want to learn how to do that <laughs> yeah you know? Yeah. So slowly but surely, I'm starting to learn how to do that. I'm just smiling at people for no reason. They're like, what the hell's up with this guy? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. On the walk back from the loop, I totally just went off. Like, uh, there's a river on the side of the road with a bunch of houses. I just go, you know, right in the river. Because I didn't have a phone in my pocket. I didn't have to worry about getting it wet. I just went right into, it was like a little stream that led to a big river. And these guys were going fishing or something. And from across the river, I go swimming towards them. Like, I want to go fishing. Heck yeah, let's experience life together. <laughs> and the, the current was so strong. Like, the, when I went in the middle of the river, it just washed me down the river. I was just like, whoa. They're like, what is going on? Like, they didn't know to call the cops or what the, like, get a gun. What the fuck? Or what what's this guy want what's he doing i'm like i'm enjoying life <laughs> and i get off and start you know nice summertime blackberries yeah y'all you know, have a blackberry there's fig trees apple trees i'm like woo! all these car every single car that passed i waved to them and it was because i didn't have anything else to do no phone no wallet no distractions no social security card it was all taken care of i just emotionally released everything and i was just Every time I waved, God gave me more energy to wave more. And everyone, even people that were uptight were just like, what the hell? They're like waved back, like, hi, I guess. What's up with you, man? I'm just, I'm like, this is, I'm on the mission to go. I'm on the journey, man. This is awesome. Good <laughs> like, I, don't, I don't, if I knew what was going on, I'd tell you. I don't know. I don't need anything from you. Here's a wave. <laughs> you know, yeah. Many of us, uh, many people, like, uh, I feel need substances to to um to yeah. lift up and to you know um to be to become easy going right in life and um it would be nice for all of us to reach that level without having to take any substances to numb us down. yeah yeah just have it like as an experience like an occasional thing as we say with food like keep it an occasional thing you know like yeah. maybe this and there you know as a gathering we all come together and you know share an experience and yeah and if yeah. you want, if the people want to do, yeah. yeah, and if you want to remove your food from your experience, remove it. Because and because yep. still, do that too. You can still, you know, if you're eating, you will know this. You know, if people who are still eating know that, you know, like you go and buy a mango, it doesn't necessarily taste like the best mango you've ever tasted. Whereas right. if you are fasting and you imagine eating a mango, it's the best mango that I've ever tasted. Oh yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna, you know, imagine tasting. A mango that is, you know, the best. You can imagine the best. So it's even more powerful than eating, really, physically. Yeah, mm -hmm. without the pain, you know, without the distraction, without like um, slowing us down physically. You know, imagining the food. I mean, that that is, yeah. I would like to uh, play with that. Whenever I want anything, <laughs> I want to sit down, meditate on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rana, you want this? Let's imagine we're eating the, yeah. best, the best of that thing that you want, you know, and it's uh, more, maybe a healthier version because like more fresh stuff, you know? Right. And then um, meditate on it. And then after, if you want, I want to take one, one hour eating it, you can take one hour eating it, you know, chewing it, whatever, you know? And then get up and go on with my Yeah, day. yeah, take my uh, responsibility. Right. Go to bed and right. wake up feeling amazing and sleep. Yeah, like keep busy, right? Keep you know? busy, keep moving. Yeah. Maybe, you know, yeah. something we can all exercise. You know? I want to, ex I want myself to experiment with it. So we'll let you guys know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when hey, you do it. Yeah, life, life is about the experiments and, heck yeah, experiences and, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, Oliver, another thing is um, with, again, when I was your age, I was very, um, because I grew up in Europe. Right. Which country in Europe? In Switzerland. Switzerland. Cool. Yeah. And yeah. I was very um, proactive about, you know, like how we as human beings destroying everything. And how we, right, as a society, yeah. now, like, not really moving towards 
nature, more to destroy yeah, yeah. nature. And also the whole system, right. how you get tangled up in it, right? How you, and, and I think one of the bigger thing, the differences that you can experience is that, and that when you see your health journey, how different your health journey is to now other people's journey, health journey, and how you mm -hmm. steering in a completely different direction than what, as we all yeah. call it, you know, the, the sad diet and just the normal food intake and so on and so on, how destructive that actually is. But the same is also, you know, see, while you do this journey on for yourself in your health, and as you can see how um, we have difficulties even mentally and emotionally, people have a hell of a lot of dif uh, difficulties to exist, to be, that you can yeah. see in, in that the, the way that when you, you're aging, you can feel and experience in your own body what's happening. And then you look at when you want to make a living, how you're going to make a living and how you're going to join in the society. Because the same sick society that you left with the healthy truth-finding experience and lifestyle, the same destructiveness is all around you too in your whole surroundings you know what I mean like the majority of it and I think it's very important or like if I had the choice to get at a chance again I would definitely uh, take completely different steps because at your age we had plans to go and live on an island all by ourselves three of us we had that Whoa. and we really planned that and then we had things like, oh, but what about if you got a toothache, you know? Or what about if you got this? And what about if you got that? Because then we had no system. We had nothing that we could. Right. You know, right. Now you just were collecting information. And we wanted to, because I could see at the time that this is not going to end very um, positively for mankind, this whole thing. And that's where I'm saying... At your stage, with you are when you have that journey, that health, that your lifestyle, and that lifestyle does not only involve obviously your eating, and but it also involves your being. And when the being yeah. comes, and you have to make the mighty dollar, and you have to chase this, and you have to chase mm -hmm. that, just sit down and question yourself and say, "Is that all necessary? Is that really, yeah. or will that track right. me back to?" the bad and the ugly, you know what I mean? Like you know when you do the bad and the ugly in your lifestyle of in eating, but that bad and ugly sits out there <laughs> with everything else too, you know? Like so you got to, yeah. and it's, see, for me wisdom doesn't come, yes, wisdom you can maybe get through experience, but a lot of wisdom just comes by age, maturity. Yeah, you see, because, yeah. think about it, if okay. you, when you were 10 years old, you knew everything. And now you're 20 years old and now you know everything. But if a 10-year-old tells you, you will know that the 10-year-old doesn't know everything. You know what I mean? So it comes a bit that way. And that's what I'm saying. So that's where I find very, just keep in mind that being on the right journey, finding the truth, also then involves to be and to see what, I'm, what am I doing with my life. You know what I mean? Because if you become a high executive for Coca-Cola, you're not going to save the world, you know what I mean? Like, you're not going to do yeah, the right possibly. thing, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, that's just the discrepancy, you know what I mean? When you look, and that's what I feel, and that's what we all suffer on this. We right. see the truth, we try to live the truth, but you get so dragged back in by your being, you know, by your surroundings. That's very hard, it's very difficult. So from even that point of view, as I said, you've got there, yeah, at the, you, you're at a different perspective, you know, like I'm 57, so I'm way ahead, you know, I'm way ahead in, in that way, but I'm so trapped in so many things and I can't get away because, yes, you can always sever yourself, you can always disconnect yourself from everything, but that's not the solution either because you have family, you have, you have things yeah. around you that are very valued to you. So you don't want to destroy yeah. all that and yeah. walk out of that. 
Yes, that might save you, but as I said, you leave yeah. the structure behind as well. I'm just saying, so they a little bit things to toss up, you know what I mean, on that. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Keep that in mind. Simple as that. Yeah, it's, it's great to bring back, like to go on, you know, a little bit of fire at a time, you know, not like full fire destroy everything, but, you know, the balance of the tree growing and pruning the tree and having that, you know, the ebbs and flows and you know, things like that. And yeah. That's correct. See, we, and you find in particular where you are in the areas. Go and look around for even what indigenous people do that did, not anymore, because they're all, but destroyed them all. But I'm so saying because oh, yeah. they, they're the connection that I, I feel so much more related, can relate to that than having a new iPad and having a new this and yeah, doing all this other stuff. Right. Just from a, a finding point of view, from a truth point of view, because only once you understand and you see the truth coming, you can act upon, you know? Because uh, th then you know, oh, this is the way I want to go. And then you see that you want to be like-minded. And then you see that cities are not where like-minded people are. Then you look for the truth. Yeah, yeah. Just to say, yeah? Like, I mean, I'm sure you're experiencing that already. But a lot of times, you know, when you're, that, when you're your age, you can't comprehend it. I mean, because you, you have to actually experience it first and go through it before you yes. can actually make a judgment and have references within yourself so that yeah for many older you, you go through so many things and all of a sudden you think oh well, how stupid am i why did i do that for so many years why did i do that for so many years because it all comes to you and that's where you're in a better situation mm -hmm. but it's very hard because you still have to experience a lot of things first before you can say right. because you can all say oh yeah yeah i know i know i know but no you don't because it's the 10 year old yes. the 10 year old doesn't know what that 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 means it's that way you know what i mean exactly. so that's mm -hmm. not young enough to know everything no yeah, yeah. that's correct <laughs> and experiencing it but as i said then move on with the two in in and that's where then is your choice you see as you have a choice here mfs is a choice you don't have to do it it's a choice right. you Exactly. So, exactly. And when you tool that choice, on the, you know, okay. so I'll pick it up. Hmm. And that helps when you see that through the choice, the truth reveals. And I think when that happens, that's when you know this is the right direction I'm going in, you know. But even in MFS, different things lead to different, yeah. It's, it's, it's still, it's a exactly. path, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a straight line. Nothing is a straight line, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's all that. Simple. Yeah. Anyway, that's just my little two bobs were from Sydney. Simple as that. Heck yeah. Is that the Opera House to Sydney? They got that. <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, we've got that too. Yeah. And the Harbour Bridge, man. Yeah. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cool. Artwork. That's correct. Yeah. yeah. yeah so that, look, it's, it's, although, you know, it's a nice, as, as a nice a place as it is from a, um, yeah, architectural point all this but it's a very stressful place too trust me it's very very hectic it's very very fast paced you know? oh, yeah hey yeah. it's okay. uh, and it's a uh, said like yeah that's what i'm saying it's it's that choice and that's that taking it in and then seeing is that really what you want to do or mm -hmm. yeah and i think when you when you listen to your body it'll always tell you will will we'll, it will say look it's not the way to be it's not the way to be because that's not that's not what we're meant to do, really. Um, that's just my personal experience. I'm sure other can back that up. But sometimes you have to experience to have that depth, you know what I mean? To make, give yourself the depth exactly, like learn. That, that you need, you know, to then say, ah, ah, shouldn't have done that, you know, shouldn't have done that. It's like when you, you know, when you in, indulge in, 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 in a not correct food, you know, Ah, oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that, you know. But you need that depth for sometimes. But as I said, it's funny. Uh, and that's only because you, we, don't have too, we don't have too many alternates that you can actually rely to. That's what I'm saying. What you do now being out in the countryside, experiencing with small communities, life, what life is about. And then when you yeah. go back into New York City, you think, holy shit, what am I going to do here? You know, like. Where, where are my trees, you know what I mean? Where's my boomerang? Where do I fly my boomerang here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so on and so on. But then you, yeah, yeah, but the then you get trapped again because then there's other excitements there. And that's what I'm saying to you. 
that's where then the choice comes in. Because then it's easy to give in. It's easy to give in to the sad foods, you know, and go and have that bucket of chips and have this, this, and have this, and have. That's easy, but that's the choice. And I think that's where then, see, that's where wisdom comes then. Your choice, your experience, then develop that wisdom. And then you say, ah, no, okay. I'll have a bit of it and then I gotta go my own way again, you know, like it's like that way, you know. Because there's no alternative. I mean, exactly. what else are you going to do? You can go in Hyde Park in New York, in New York City, but even then that's only <laughs> that only gives you so much, you know. So that all yeah, I know it's hard to grasp, but that's really what, what, what it comes down to. When you, if, if 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 young people would just find a truthful way and live by the truth. We wouldn't be in the situation as we are today. Simple as that. It's always yeah, hard well, to I, grasp them. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. And I mean, it's not. And I'm not trying to hear. You know, like, you know, because yes, I'm quite a bit older, and so on and so on. But it's just, I see that. I see that with my own kids. I got three kids the same age as you. Okay. Well, yeah. I see how they struggle. Struggle right. to find. A, an inspiration, a spark. Well, you found a spark. You see, your MFS is a spark. It's something to hold on, something to take, something to move with, and to change yourself. And that is something that, you know, it, 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 as I said, like I, I rode, you see, I did sport. That was my spark. And I wish I could have, you know, had more, as I said, but it's all hindsight and that's all good because it's all part of me. It's all part and I don't regret anything. It's just a shame that I couldn't have had that, that available earlier in my life. That's all it is. But I don't regret anything. It's just the way it is. Because you come, see, even in later, you come to the truth. When, I, when you look for, look, if you prepare to look, you'll see. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. You will yeah. see. Yeah. And then it comes. Yeah. And then you can see, see how easy when you clean yourself is it to differentiate between bullshit and good shit. You know what I mean? Like really, that's... Right, right. Yeah. So you can, you can learn that and it's very easy to differentiate. <laughs> Once you're in that stage, then it's a matter of just really being honest with yourself and reflecting mm -hmm. with yourself and then just live it, you know? Look at, look at the change runs you made, you know? Within... 12 months. I mean, that's <laughs> phenomenal. That's just out of this world. But not everybody is able to do that. Not everybody. Yes, it's a goalpost. See, it's, it's an aim that you can yeah. take. But it's what I, I mean, I said it before. Usain Bolt was born a 100 meter champion. He needed to work for it and all that. But he was born that way. You understand? You and me, we yeah, can't yeah. run 100 meters under 10 seconds. Doesn't matter how long we train, how long we do this. We will not be able to do that. Do you understand? And that's not bad. That's just the way it is. But we, we can do other things. We can do this and we can still enjoy it. We can still go and do a run and enjoy it. But it's something that not ever, you know, like, and that's what I see as an, as an older person that I don't have to chase this. And you said that too, and that's great. It's because you have time and you just got to be persistent. And then all this stuff will come at you. Different things, you know. Yeah. The way it came to Ramji is not the same way it came to me or it came to Stephen or to Jeremy mm -hmm. or to you, but it comes. And with that, you've got to work. And with that, you've got to move on. Yeah? Simple as that. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. your platform. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, simple as that. Well. <laughs> When we move with something that we can, you know, love and, and, and trust, all kinds of doors open up. And uh, that's the, the big thing missing in the youngsters today. They, 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 they're lost. They don't know. Yeah. They have no clue what to do. They're just hanging in limbo. They, they're just but, but the truth is, floating. we were also lost. I was to a li little bit of a degree. Yeah. And, but uh, we did I so mean, much stuff, man. Yeah, <laughs> there was yeah. never, never boredom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe, yeah, well, I, I was lost, for sure, especially when I was in school. The more schooling, the more lost I was, really. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was studying first undergrad and then 
worked a little bit in fraternity and then masters and then and I never asked my question uh, myself the, the a question do I love what I'm doing you know I'm interested in it uh, when I worked in fraternity I was interested and I wanted to learn more so I did the masters and um, um, and then I wanted to learn more so I went to travel for training different places um, um, but I never really asked myself, do I love what I do? Do I believe in it 100%? Now, looking back, I definitely did not, do not believe in it now. Looking back, it was not something that I agree with. As soon as I learned in, in the master's um, uh, about epigenetics and the effect of the artificial reprodu reproductive treatments on uh, the babies and uh, the fact that it increases, it increases their... Um, level of abnormality i knew that there, this is not the best way i knew it but it, you know it was it's not easy to just stop what you're doing um but i never forgot that i never forgot that so um yeah so are you there yeah am i able to add to that of course can i add a can i add a soul perspective Mm -hmm. It's definitely true what Hans Peter says, the experience that you have gains you the wisdom. But however, the, wis the wisdom I find is like we're set up. We're set up always for the truth, no matter where you are, what you're at, whatever age or whatever happens in life, that everything that you experience is the biggest setup. So even going through school, and look, I look at my university degree, and I, you know, it doesn't, like, I've just thrown it away, really, you know. <laughs> Pay, pay for it myself but the wisdom in that is that through that process of working for government and working in system because i love systems too hands peter i think they're fantastic when you surrender to it fully they, they work that's what i did with um, mfs i knew if i surrendered to a system it's going to work but how did i know that because i've been surrendering to systems all my life okay <laughs> and because in every system there's a consciousness and yeah. that consciousness that consciousness is the truth so it doesn't really matter what you experience in life. It doesn't really yeah. matter when it comes down yeah. to the end of it because all it does is take you inward. It always takes you inward because it always goes to the truth. Even Big Pharma and all them, they all got consciousness in them. The love will yeah. always dissolve that. It doesn't matter where you're at. You know, if you um, doesn't matter what age. The thing, the thing with um, um, technology these days, you know, the young people are fed lots, lots of information and, and um, you do have to go through life to, to, to realise Hey, when I was three years old or two years old, that was always truth. But everything's always been set up. We're all set up for the biggest, biggest, biggest love, love and fish that you can ever yeah. imagine. If you, if you see the, the realisations behind those um, events, stories and thoughts, there is the face of God behind everything. And it's all about facing your mirrors of truth. And if you can face your mirrors of truth to what it truly is, and get down to the stuff that it's nothing about you. It never is anything about you, that you're just an empty vessel just that just explodes with love, no matter what events that you've had through your life. <laughs> and um, the events do show you the wisdom. It shows you the path for sure. But everything we experience is just complete bliss in every moment that we have. Mm. And then if you know, when you wake up in the morning and you throw your souls on the, on the ground and you put that gratitude through the soles of your feet every morning, you, you realise no matter what ground you walk on, it's just I don't know what story you walk on. And the more the experiences you have, the more that you realise what really the truth is. So thank God for experiences and thank God for all the ones that maybe we didn't want because then that is the truth. That's how yeah. I see it these days. Sure. But then again, that's not me talking. That's not me talking either. <laughs> yeah. you know, we know who that is. We know who that is because if you're yeah. resonating, you know yeah. what the truth is. <laughs> that's why I love you all so much. We love you too, Ranji. The, 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 the truth is within every soul. It's, it's, it's impossibility not to be, right? We have fun with it. It's, it's inside us. Uh, yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. See, I, that's where I like, I like Miyamoto Musashi when he says, you know, the, the truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is. And you must bend to its power or you live a lie. That's as simple as that. You know? yeah. So, like, how much more can you... What, what, what more can you say? Well, how much wisdom is in that, you see? And he says, learn one thing and know 1,000. 
You know, like because once you learn one thing and you know one thing, you know everything else too. So see, I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. That's what I, uh, that all is when you're young, you really, you know, you're inspired by it. But what does it actually mean? And how do you actually put that in place? You know, because when I was you, I wanted to climb the highest mountain and go down to the deepest valley, you know, and up the top of the highest mountain and on the top, there's truth, but you can't understand it because it's not, it's, you're not, it's, as I said, it's that opening buttons that have to happen that you then it actually flows in and then, and not only that, applied experience is what then counts. You see, like what you've learned through MFS, you're applying now and you're applying it and you can okay. see ah, oh, shortcoming here, shortcoming there, you know, like, and then, you know, after a while, the do's and don'ts and you know yourself and, and all that depth happens, you know, that the development physically, mentally, spiritually, and then you know your own fields. Where do you like to be more? Do you like to be more on the spiritual side, like me on the physical side, and so on. But all, everything goes hand in hand. There are all this stuff, you know, to I me mean, that happens, you know. But as I say, the truth is not what you want it to be. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> that to me, you know, like a lot of times I just sit there and think, man, I'm having myself on, you know. I can't, I, I'm not... I, I'm not being honest to myself, you know, like that's a lot of times you have to say that. I'm lying here straight to my own face and I go better change that because it's not, doesn't get me there where I want to be, you know what I mean? Simple as that. Mm -hmm. but I mean, you experienced that too. And look at, and that's why I said you need to be your friends. You know, like they talk and you think, man, you don't know what you're talking about, but it's not for me to tell you that. It's for you exactly. to find out. You know, like really. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you can just stand on the side, or I do that, sit on the fence. All I do, sit on the fence and just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Can't do nothing, man. that's all I can do. What, what else do I want to do? You know, uh, I can bash people. And that's what I'm saying, friends come and go and enemies accumulate. How many enemies would I like, you know? <laughs> yeah, and, I mean, it's just, it's always yourself. Any enemy that you make, you got to look at yourself too, you know, like that's exactly. oh. things like that. And that's, that starts at any age. Once you get the comprehension of that comes a choice. I like that choices. Yeah. Easy. Very good. Yeah. What's the saying go? Like there's those that uh, watch what happens. Those that, no, how does it go again? <laughs> uh, people that watch what happened, people that make things happen, and people that ask what the hell. Yeah, and that's it. <laughs> what the hell happened? Something like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the, the, you know, the mirrors of truths, they, they scare people because um, we've been programmed so far away from those truths. And um, it, 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 it literally terrifies people to be in that mm -hmm. place, a mirror of truths. And um, they're just not ready to let go of the fictitious illusions that they're living, right, through the programming. And that's, that's, that's what came very clear to me through long digestive vacations over and over and over. And the more I went into the long vacation, long digestive mm -hmm. vacations, the more these mirrors of truth got closer Whoa. and closer to my face and I couldn't deny yeah. it anymore. <laughs> and it's just a blessing, you know, to... Uh, be able to go through those experiences but um it's within us all it's you know you dive deep into uh, that fasting state uh let's put master fasting state because uh, fasting yeah corrupted yeah. <laughs> you're 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 gonna you're gonna have mirrors of truth showing up and you know you you can deny, deny all you want but you keep going you're gonna see them the same thing happening over and over you know as for example when you do these long vacations, long digestive vacations, then you go into the foods and you go into the different levels of food, but the heavier, the lighter and the heavier obstructive foods, and you feel how it um, reacts mm -hmm. within the physical body, you know, and, and then you do it again and again and again, and, you, and you're, you can't deny, you can't deny what's going on. And you can see cl with clarity how yeah. they uh, affect the body, you know, and then, People will throw up all their science stuff and destroys that. <laughs> and that and the other thing. 
Oh. No, I've never mm. seen fasting destroy nothing. It's the complete opposite. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's where the soul does its magic. And, uh, I, and you know, it's, it, 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 it happens. It, it's, we've, we've watched it happen so much and I've experienced this so much that um, and there's that knowing that I, I, nobody can tell me anything else unless um, they can bring forth <laughs> the information that is going to supersede what we've experienced, you know, and, and allow us to experience what they're talking about. Science means nothing to me. It's just, just a theory. Um, the experience is way more powerful than any um, experiment or, you know, test or theory or whatever. Um, and, and, you know, we just ask them, try it out for yourself and see what happens. And uh, once you've done your homework and start listening to everybody and you see that same thread of truth running through everybody that goes through these experiences over and over and over again. And it's so clear that the only way you're not going to see it is you're just going to, you're just closing yourself up to it and you're, you're just not ready to receive that because it's so clear. It's so clear. Um, the, the magical complete metamorphosis that happens in, 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 in these, uh, you know, um, cleaned out plasma vacuum tubes, I'd like to put it, is just miraculous. Um, <laughs> generation, the rejuvenation, the, uh, the, 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 when you tap, when you're, when you get to the point where you're able to tap into the, um, limitless energy supplies, um, they just don't compare to putting food into your body. It's just, it's just mm -hmm. night and day. It's night and day comparison. And, um, I, I watch people going through these fasts and they're, you know, they're just starting out coming from a sad diet or whatever diet or, you know, it's plugged up diet most of them and they're wanting to feel that you know within a few months or weeks or whatever <laughs> dudes you know take your time patience persistent consistency you'll get there a year two years three years four years five years six years ten years i don't know we don't have an answer for we don't have that answer for you but you will have that answer for you if you continue and you and you trust the soul and, and you know and, and devote your time into um going that route you know, it's, it's, it's that straightforward. I don't know how much more simple we can make it. Um, so I've done autopilot. <laughs> and uh, Ranji, what are you on? 170 something? Uh, doesn't matter. Yeah, I think I've got, doesn't matter. Because I'm going to keep continuing on to the season change anyway. And then, um, you know, whatever. I'm just going to next year, just I'll pencil down because people always ask. So I'm just going to pencil down when, if I eat something in a celebration or something because my brother will be getting married, things will be happening. If I consume a little bit of food, I'll write that down for people. But um, <laughs> other than that, other than that, it's um, just pretty much life. So I, I want to add something really, really quite cool about field strength. Okay? Mm -hmm. when you, I don't even call it field strength now. I think it's a field force mm -hmm. to me. It's a force. Um, because the intention that I had for this um, full moon was for the soul to teach me how to manage these high intensity fields that you feel. And the most important thing to me in this, in this human vessel is my intimate relationship with other human vessels, right? That means that fires me up more than anything, the love and the intimate, intimate relationship, especially with the people that you love and care about and also the ones that you, you, know, that you may not think that don't love and care about you, they freaking do. Everyone freaking loves you when you're in love. And um, the fact that, you know, I'm at this place, my brother's future fiance's place and everything, I didn't ask for him to buy me grape juice. He, I did not ask him to buy me dead grape juice. He knows I drink it because he's seen me at my parents <laughs> drinking it. I didn't ask him to buy me freaking dead grape juice. All the things that people say about the grape juice, this and that, blah, blah. I don't give a rat's ass shit about what you think, right? Because what, all I care about is the fact that my brother, who I'm intimately in love with, you know, we connected genetically. I know what I do in my body affects him. I know genetically it affects him, right? So he bought grape juice. So do you know where does that come from? 
<laughs> you know, where does that come from? It comes, it comes from, from the flow. Course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Didn't say anything. Nothing. I love it. I love this freaking journey. Everything that you think about is a lie uh, because we are the manipulators when we're born and we're fallen. We're manipulated from the day that we come through the birth canal. And once you realise that truth, then you know it's okay to live with the manipulation. It really is. Actually, it's such a loving thing because love will dissolve the manipulation if you know that. Everywhere you walk and everywhere you be in your vessel, you are a force of love. Nobody can, no, nothing can ever, can't touch you. It's, a, it's an incredible feeling. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I love everybody. I love every, everything, every mm. soul, everything's beautiful. And I, you know, just everything, every organ in my body. I love my mind. It's an organ. I love that soul of the mind. When you release its suffering from the lies, then it's in full operation to, to look after your body and your organs and get them, you know, your heart pumping right and all that sort of stuff. It doesn't have to think about other stuff. Because that's the thing about your MFS system, you know. You don't have to think. You literally just throw yourself in it. Don't question it. Go through the process of it. Like what Hans Peter said, just go through the system and then off you go. That's, Voila. that's the biggest challenging part for most people. They're looking at all the freaking little details of who, what, where, when, why, how, blah, 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 blah. And they, they're just lost in that confusion state of, uh, the things that are frivolous and don't mean anything because you'll never understand it anyway. Even if you try and understand it, <laughs> we have a basic yeah. understanding, but that's all you need to know. And, and just go with the trust because we know what to do to get that trust, to get, to get the trust to start coming through from the soul. That's all we need to do. We need to know what to do. That's it. And we that's don't it. need to know who, what, where, when, why, and how, and whatever. Yeah. Oh, and the good and the great the greatest thing about that, Gina, is when your eyes are open and very clean on that on that, right? You see the truth when you're not densed out with in the physical form, you're not densing it out any as much, you know, like um you see that truth and you realise how freaking simple it is. Mm -hmm. Like that's the bit that gets me the most. It's like, you know, you wanna you know, you do want to help people, but you can only uh, you can only do it by showing by example. That's the only way that I you can't talk. You can't do anything. Right. You just literally have to. Be, you literally have to live the change and be the example. Right. And that's what I thought. At least that's one thing. Um, this vessel can do while it's on the human planet. You know, like on, while we're here, I can at least be an example. And that's it. And then the rest of it, the love force field that you know, let that flow through. Now I'm living off the cosmic fields. Now I'm getting that understanding. I didn't have that understanding before. I knew about the natural stuff, the the which we all use here in the realm, the nature and everything like that. And now you go live off the freaking moon and then um, that all happens. And then you go, well, there's a sunrise in the morning. I go live off that one. Actually, Hans Peter, when I was um, sun gazing this morning, guess who I thought of? You. <laughs> Straight away. Straight away, mate. Straight away. It was like, Hans Peter, sun gazing. I'm sun gazing for you. Just in case you missed out this morning, mate, I sun gazed for you. I've got still sore eyes, you see. Yeah. I did it for you. I ain't got no sore eyes. I do it for you. I'll do it for you. So you're just taking the, taking the field. But anyway, yeah. Look what I found. This is what we were talking about before, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. Yeah, you have it. <laughs> I had it on top of the cupboard. Somebody gave it to me once. Awesome. Because I was shit kicking for him and doing it. And I told him, I said, you're just, a, you're hopeless. Why are you asking me? I know I can do it, but you've got to show me that you can do it, you know? <laughs> That's a beautiful thing. I don't know who wrote it, but it's beautiful. <laughs> yes. Yes. I've had that as well. Simple as that. No, no, but I, I, I'm with you, Ranji. <clears throat> Look, it's um, people, the wind blows so strong in people's faces and, they don't tie, and they're not taking off. They're afraid to take off. What are they afraid for? You know, it's blown. It is a blown a gale storm and they're not taking off. And I think, you're wasting your time. You're just, I don't know. Why would you idle and wait while you have set your goal already? Keep stepping, mate. Just keep stepping towards it. Just keep going on it. See, that's what I'm saying. That's, I mean, but that's it. Yeah, it's, it's got to come to each individual. Otherwise, you, it's, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's,
that's all it is. It's all you can do. You know, at the end, I have to do it himself. Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing this a while, both you and I, and it's, it's just uh, when people are ready, they'll do it. And they're not before. It doesn't matter what you say, what you show them, what you do. It's got to be that, that something that clicks within them that they see and they're ready to change. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's, uh... Hey, Gina, I want to I want to hear Inga's voice. I haven't heard for her voice for ages. I feel her so Inga's much. Inga's a champ, man, some... in Europe, and she's on, she's on a lot of these calls. <laughs> I know. I want to hug yeah. Inga. Say something. Say something, Inga. I want to hear your voice. I want to hear Hi. your 3-2 voice. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. Hey, I love you. I love you so much. And it's honestly, honestly unfolding. Also, so much within. It's, if he was ready to listen, I'm ready to share. Yeah. I was I was ready to do a you know in the life Facebook, but you need encourage. You need to have that. You know mm. you can do it. Yeah. You know what it unfolds when in me, like as Oliver do and me. I also eat and fast, and I become friends with food. Mm. And what really un unfolds what we do here as human beings is we have stepped away from nature. Even naturally, we are feeling nature very much. We have, like nature is here to teach us rather than we teach nature. That is yeah. also, you know, we are very, against like killing but as you can see in pure nature when you're not involved domestic animals there is killing involved that is part of process that is part of Venus but what we do humans we attach we attach to everything we do that is animals that is relationship that is friendship, that is food, that is religion, anything we want to label. When we witness animals in nature, they pretty much never attached. They go, they do, they have feeling as we also feeling being, and they don't hold on to as we do. Yeah. And when, when we do this, we go circles. We try to look always for something, but we don't need anything. Anything we need is all around us and within. Absolutely everything. That peace we are seeking to look for, we won't find until we find within. Every single thing is within. It just so much energy goes through me. And also naturally I feel I'm not there yet, but I be coming up of enemas. And I be in that state where as I say, like I'm like a water, like I flow. And you know, when triggers comes up, it's, it's so easy to now to deal with them. It's like, you know, it just, it's experience. And we, rather than attach to experience, deal and let go. I really realize there is even no past. It is moment and it's up to each and every one of us how we take that experience. And if we not attach and let go, life is so simple. Life is so smooth. Yeah. There, as you can see, there is good and bad, but that's for all our growth and for our, our really, probably realization. I cannot probably say, I just feel I'm becoming my body 
younger and younger and younger and younger. We can see that. <laughs> As Gina was saying, there is pos everything is possible, and it feels like, like, and honestly, I'm not saying, and now we need to go and kill. No, it's not to say I, I'm saying that, but when when you do eat meat for example i would be meat eater maybe uh, i'm not eating meat 99.8 percent if i eat maybe if i zero zero two very very seldom dairy i would eat a little bit more probably 95 percent a five percent eaten when see what i do anytime now i create Crave, as Gino say, you know, when we crave, it's program. As I, it's not program. We label ourselves as program, and we don't want to allow to that shift happening. Rather than stay fun, I allow myself anything I crave, eat. If I overeat, I overeat. I allow feel, but because I'm in that state where i witness and watch and sense yeah so meditative state it just it just honestly it's very easier no judgment no, no yeah. self uh uh sabotage what we word is and then it's so just easy to let go of these things it's not your label yeah no because but absolutely Honestly, Gina and Rana, my heart is always with you. Even no matter what happens, always deepest gratitude gonna be. But with Master Fast, what I found, it's been going up and eating down, up and down. And I really personally got tired. I didn't feel that as natural. As I say, I'm so connected to nature. I'm so connected to, and I allow, rather than judge anyone, mm -hmm. not me, not yeah. you, because you teaching what you know, but our body is the real guidance for each and everyone. I have said that before, never believe anyone, because when we believe, we attach. And when we attach, we not allowing abundance that like we are like limitless we just flow with everything but by labeling by state important statements we not allowing to flow that what is within each and every one of us you know your answer yeah. you will find them within you everything absolutely yeah. everything mm -hmm. yeah, I, 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 can only, I can only attest to that Inga. i mean you're, you're you're talking as i said it's the truth you know and the truth the truth is only within you and then it's between you and nature that connection nothing else nothing else counts otherwise what you nothing. know uh what what's your name now uh, there you are Han peter uh we trying to seek for truth but in realization, there is no truth. No. Tell me, I do. There is just process. We come here, experience, and it's up to each and every one, like how to live. You know, because we have so many things now for experience, and it's up to each and every one to take and experience and to attach or not. If you feel good, it's nice. But again, if you not attach, then you are free. Once you attach, you not free. Mm. You know, I, as I say, I'm not looking. I know intentions. I'm not looking for anything. I'm here. There is no accidents. I'm on this page. 
I need to be here and it's not because I want to teach anyone better or worse. It just flows through me. And that's the way I'm doing it like in life. Even I was had discussion deep with my partner and I say, because see, I'm changing constantly. And when you witness, so is nature. We want to see nature what was ten or five years ago, but it's not the case. Everything constantly changing. Even every single being, even they don't do anything, they do what they do, they do change. I see this. Also, uh, Gino uh, likes to put uh, your, uh, like, you are full of shit or you are so clogged. But personally, I see in each and every one, body talks clearly and loud, but we are so busy in mind. We not allowed to hear, you know? And when we, again, we put down like, are you full of shit or whatever? So many people would sense that as, Judgment. oh, I'm full of shit, why would I bother? Yeah. You know? We just, in, when you realize just, Everything there is this everything we need around <laughs> of us, you know. Yeah, yeah. some people need a, a little wake up call, be shook in a little bit, and get some going. I find, <laughs> uh, but it's, it's not going to happen until they're ready. It doesn't matter what you say, mm -hmm. exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. And honestly, deepest, deepest gratitude to Glenn or Solomon. Stargate, which I really see pure green, but I love them so much, and pure love and gratitude to both of you and everyone, every single being. Thank you so much, Thank you, Angel. And just, uh, just let you know, anyone struggles with food, allow, allow eat what you really need, mm -hmm. and then you will see how that gently gonna change. Because with awareness, you are here for the reason. No need to judge, no need to wash anyone. Mm -hmm. We create every single hour step. Love you. <laughs> Look, here's another thing I found. My daughter gave to me. That might be something that you like too. Can you read that? Those who dance are considered. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because I, I, I very often <laughs> dance through the house or sing through the house. And yeah, the tree. Me that, yeah. Those so. who dance are considered. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so there you go. Can you see it again, yeah. Hans Peter? Sure. It says, to, to, those who dance are considered insane uh, <laughs> by the ones that cannot hear the music. Right. If you can't hear the music, when you see somebody dancing, you think they, they're crazy, you know? Mm -hmm. So there you go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so my daughter gave me that. Yeah, there that's you go. a perfect description of uh, master fasting. <laughs> We're dancing, and <laughs> they can't hear the music. <laughs> they're going, these guys, they're all skeletons, they're, they're crazy, they're going to die. <laughs> Absolutely. We're killing ourselves here. We're killing ourselves here, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. But when, hey, when I see this guy, I, I like it. I like it, you know? Yeah. I'd like to hear from Steve. He keeps looking yeah, at me. I keep looking at him. How are you going? I'm doing well. Yeah. Awesome. What a crazy week it was for me, man. Whoa. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I started dry the dry fast on Thursday, on Wednesday evening. But we were overcast. I couldn't see the moon. Thursday morning, it was beautiful. And man, I felt that. I felt it. The first time oh, I yeah. felt it, it was, it was like cool. And, uh, but you know, about 20 hours in, man, that kidney went through the roof. 
Oh, again. Oh, Lord of my. Wow. Doubling over. I think the dry is really pushing it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh. It starts with liquid. My intention was three days. I made 44 hours, 45 hours. I, I could not go any further. Did you do any liquid before that? Huh? Did you do any liquid before that? Like my. I'm having fasting. trouble hearing you. Uh, did you do any liquid master fast? Oh yeah, it was three uh, three days liquid. Okay. Three days liquid, and then then dry. Are you using your Kolima board? Tomorrow, setting it up tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that would help. But here, here's what happened. So my cucumber plants are dying off because they they they've run their cycle. There's like four there were four cucumbers left on them, and I wanted to eat them. So I broke I broke the dry correctly. I, so I had the cucumber, a tomato, some cilantro. That's it. And within five minutes, my hands were cramping up. <laughs> and I'm like, wow. I get this. Yeah, it's the, the cramps are uh, interesting. Uh, people think the deficiencies and so on and so forth. It's body oh, pushing the food. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the body's pushing stuff out. When you go into the dries and get into the longer ones, uh, you'll go through some of these experiences of the cramping and stuff. Um, oh, so yeah, much it's a lot of cramping this week. I had a colonic on Wednesday, and I, even even the woman, even the hydrotherapist, was just amazed at what was coming out. <laughs> I was releasing for five, seven, eight minutes. I mean, just. <laughs> <whew>. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah. and that's really deep stuff because I've been doing the colonics eight months now. Yeah. So the intestines are pretty much, I think, pretty much cleaned out. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> but this, I don't know where this I don't know where's, where's it come from. <laughs> yeah. Don't try. Don't try and figure it out. Oh, it was just like yeah, yeah. blowing and blowing and blowing. I mean, going. <laughs> I felt great. Are, are you uh, are you regularly doing the castor oil on the kidneys? No, I haven't started yet. Still no? time, still some time constraints. My my days, I've been going like sixteen hour days. Yeah, you, Wednesday was the first day in like two weeks that I I took a day for myself. Mm. So. Okay, it's coming. I finally got somebody on board on the project I'm working on. So hopefully in a couple of weeks we're done. Are you, are, you so, seeing, are you seeing sediment in the urine? Yes. Good. Oh, everything's it's working. There, everything is working. Body's working incredibly. My finger healed in like mm -hmm. no time. <laughs> nice. Body had, I was fasting. The body had nothing else to do. <laughs> Can't fix the thing. <laughs> yeah. Like, whoa. So there is definitely a shift this week. There's just it, it, it oh, goes yeah. in cycles and stuff. So yeah. we <laughs> learn to embrace it all and be patient. Yeah. And it's not fun sometimes, you know. We go through some pretty difficult situations sometimes, but mm. you'll always come out stronger all the time. I can handle the kidney at home, but when it when it hits at work, there's not much I can do. Yeah, it's, I, I know. I know. I try, I try to massage, but. You know, when you're doubled over trying to run a machine, that doesn't work too well. No, not fun. Every time I go into in, into the full full protocol, the kidney the kidney's been acting up. Well, every time in the past that you've experienced, don't this doesn't mean that's a fact. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just saying every time. I, I, I mean, when I'm in, when I'm eating. It's, like I said, it's instantaneous. It goes away. Wow. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Kulima will help. And I tried to break it. I tried just to break it just with liquid, liquid, liquid. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't easy enough at all. Yeah. The best way to help your kidneys is more washing your colon yeah. and uh, castor oil if you can. Yeah, tomorrow's, that's tomorrow's project. I got everything set up. Yeah, but... You know, continue to uh, try and allow the longer monthly, you know, the monthly fast, try and get that. 
when you get to the season change, see if you can go a little more. If you, unless you're on a on a full MFS, then I would be very cautious. Um, I wouldn't try and go more than four or five days on a full MFS on a dry. Well, still learning. Yeah, <laughs> we all are. <laughs> still being taught. Mm -hmm, yeah. But like Angus said, even eating, I didn't. When I ate last time, I, I was I was full of self judgment, and this time, I'm fine. I'm okay. Excellent. I ate so what? Exactly. I ate cleanly. Just oh. a, a Steve, just a quick also about a clean or dirty. A, our body doesn't know it's clean or dirty. Our mind, when we eat and think that is dirty, that's the experience you're going to have. But when you uh, eat whatever you have on that plate and no judgment, you will see the difference your body is going to talk. That's because when we send in these signals to our body, this is clean, this is dirty, this is good, this is bad, our body doesn't know. When we eat, body has experience. And he, and then you feel because you're so aware, and it's your choice the next time what you do. And as I say, just easier and easier. Yeah. Um, yeah, like I understand what you're saying, Inga, but the terminology, like yeah. the the whole thing is that um, people that continue eating the same that they've always been eating, uh, we don't see any changes. <laughs> so. Is, you know, you start getting into cleaner diets and you start fasting and we start seeing the changes. Um, I have, until I, we see ourselves being able to turn uh, anything into light, matter into light, um, instantaneously, there's going to be a process to retrain our belief system to remember where we came from. And mm -hmm. the process is decades and decades. It's a journey. And that's what we're doing. Um, but you know, during this, these times, um, we've seen people hurt themselves really badly when they go to the heavier mm -hmm. foods well, you can end up in with or without the belief system there. I don't see much of a difference happening. Like I said, until you get to the state where we can turn matter into light. So we've got to be careful in what we're yeah. doing because when we're going into these long digestive vacations, especially you really got to be careful. That's my experiences. I can sit down and eat anything and everything. And I don't have any attachment or judgment or anything to it. But, you know, my body's going to feel it. Yeah. It's going to feel it. And, you know, uh, I'm okay with it because... And he knows I, what to do. I, I'll, I, I'll just, you know, I'm okay. You know, I've, I've, I've chosen to do this and I'm fully responsible and it's okay. So I'll move on and let it go. No big deal. And plus but, he has the experience as well. So he really knows what to do if he messes up. Yeah. But other people are new to this. They don't. We got to be very it. careful. And um, mm. not everybody's in the state where they can turn matter into light. Let's put it that way. I'm not even there. <laughs> no, nobody's. There. You know we're. Yeah. No. Yeah. I, I'm sure it's possible. I have no doubt it's possible because that's where we come from. But we're in this realm here, in this material realm, to experience the matter and enjoy and taste and touch and feel and smell and love so uh while we're here we there's these certain laws i guess you want to put it that allow this existence to uh be here and um you know we have to respect all that um just like what they call gravity and so on and so forth you know yeah um, <laughs> and 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 the attachment i mean also we are still attached to the food you know we cannot detach from food very quickly we have well, to be like we are it's a belief system right it, it takes time to change so we are still so once we eat and we enjoy that bite and or whatever it reminds us of you know our childhood there's wait. an addiction a little bit of an addiction there's a little bit of an attachment to it and so the, we find ourselves repeating the whole know? message what Enga is saying is don't um punish yourself for anything you want to indulge in that yeah, um, absolutely. Whatever, like I said, you know, like. Because we are part of nature. 
what, what we have separated ourselves what I from see, it. What I see in, in the order, in the higher order of things, what I see, I see nature, all of nature, as um, the reflection of man's emotion. Mm. That's why they're killing and eating each other. As what my belief system is, once man, humanity, in, in, as a whole, stops killing each other and eating each other, the whole animal kingdom will stop immediately and the lion will lay with the lamb. That's what this yeah. whole thing is. That's my belief. That's, you know, we've fallen from whatever and we're in this realm and we're watching these things, eating and killing each other. Yes, it's all part of nature, but what's, why is it, why is it come to that is what I ask. And in the higher order of things, I see it as man's emotion uh, coming through as a reflection in the animal kingdom. That's what I see. I, mean, Gino, I don't ask uh, anything. I'm just somewhere just comes like, you know, like waves or like nature through trees. And that's how I get this information. I don't ask anything. And uh, th then these realizations comes and because I am in witness more, pretty much like a lot and I'm watching and seeing and then these information comes and it's not because I want to, you know, you are better or worse, you know, it just comes and it, it's just part of process for every one of us as humans or animals. It's growth to eat each other. I'm not saying, my goodness, there's no need to go and kill, but that is part of process. Say, same with peace. To fully be in peace, we need to fully be in negative and positive. It's exactly balanced. And then you become completely fully in peace within when you accept both sides. Yeah, and that's in nature. As you can see in nature as well, there is day and there is night. There is sunshine, there is moon there is a strong wind there is calm like it's it's balance of course the unit this the principle of, the, of all the universes that's what nature is based on right and that's how it flows through me and i'm not asking my goodness as i say sometimes that information is so overwhelming i know i i do you think i understand why this coming through me i know idea the the thing is that in the limitless realms and all the universes um, there's no consuming each other. It don't, it's only in this material world. There's no killing. Yeah, but then look flies and look little birds or like uh, other animals, fishes in deep oceans eat each other and I, there is no yeah. humans. <laughs> yeah, Giro's saying that they are a reflection of humans. I, I have heard this, yeah, but as I say, then what is unfolding in, within me, it's it's like we have separated ourselves from nature. That's very, very simple. Life is so, so simple, but it's not everyone sees that way. Yeah, um, let's look at um, an experiment, the uh, Pottinger experiment with the 900 cats. I don't know if anybody knows that experiment. Anybody heard about that? No, let's see. <laughs> There's a fellow Pottinger, I think the name is Pottinger, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it well. Uh, he did an experiment with 900 cats over several years. Uh, he split them in half. Half he fed the same diets, half was cooked, half was raw. And the differences were remarkably outstanding, completely night and day different. The ones that ate the cooked, they had all problems with everything, all the diseases, this, that, and the other thing, and offsprings, and crooked teeth, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, all the problems, dying in litters, and the ones that had raw, like beautiful. Raw meats? And... Yeah, beautiful, no problems, healthy, et cetera. So you can look up the, the study. I can't remember all the details. This is a long time ago I read about this. So you're talking about, um, something that um there's no um awareness like you, we have in as as humans in these animals you know they work on 
uh, instinct and so on and so forth, right? So when you do that and you see that the matter, which we say environments dictate outcome. In this realm, they do. There's laws and they will change. Any environment you change is going to change the outcome. And this is what we're trying to say. And this is why we, we see miraculous uh, metamorphosis happen in MFS realms. Because we're changing the environments. So when you put food, the third dimensional food through this realm, we can have all the thoughts and beautiful and everything or the ugly thoughts and everything. You're going to change it. Yeah, you can create obstructions through thoughts, of course. No, of course. And you can, uh, I'm sure, dissolve obstructions through your thoughts. It works both ways. Everything's possible. But, you know, we're in this realm. We're here to experience the three-dimensional, the materialism, and everything is going to affect everything. You cannot put... Uh, anything through your body day in and day out and expect uh, nothing is going to change because environments dictate outcome and, and by emotions are the seed of disease so yeah. like yeah so, so it's, it's all, like um... you know we know nothing that's the further we go the, the rabbit hole the more we know nothing that's what i know but what, I, what we're trying to say is we know what works now we know that certain foods do do certain th things to the body, the heavier the foods, the more obstructive they are, uh, all the way down the line, et cetera, et cetera. And the more we, and, eat, and the more we eat obstructive food, the more the emotions want, the more obstruction. So it, it can get into that state of, of obstructed state where, you know, everything starts getting spiraling out more and more confusion. We've seen how this plays out over and over and over with thousands and thousands of people. So there has to be... Um, that delicate balance where, you know, if we want to indulge in things, like I said, be responsible for all yeah. the, uh, th yeah. decisions you make, be hundred percent responsible. If yeah. it means that you're going to have certain meals for so long and it's going to kill you. If you're responsible and that's what the road you want to take, that's okay. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. And also emotionally be as, you know, as comfortable we, we, and, uh, as, you know, at peace as possible because you don't want to be eating from a place of anger or uh, or regret or Never, judgment no. because that we know that this affects us. Yes, yeah. I always put like you know your thoughts as uh, Rimoto uh, showed us. Thoughts change the structure of water. We know that, so mm -hmm. um, the same thing happens. So everything with this. affects. But yeah, so we do yeah. our best to make better choices, and at the same time. You know, clean our thoughts and our emotions Always when we're just, eating. But yeah, the, the 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 process of just allowing things is is beautiful. That's where we we have to get into that wonderful place, and we don't beat ourselves up when we go off track. That's the most important message I think you're trying to push through. But um, we have to be careful. I've 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 helped people that almost kill themselves because they they're didn't not following the protocol, and then they're doing the stupidest things, breaking fast. And then they come running for help. And I don't want to be a part of that because we have the structure. It works. It's safe. It's effective. So let's follow this. And that's why we're here. If you want to do something else, you know, by all means, no problem. Um, we have to yeah. stick to what we understand because I've been doing this for three decades and, and I still don't know nothing. <laughs> you know, and, and by, you know, all the uh, other experiences that you beautiful souls keep sharing with us, it just keeps building and building and building on the nothingness that we keep <laughs> understanding. <laughs> but um, we just got to be careful, you know, because uh, there there are, uh, uh, what, what do we call it? The cause and effect of everything. There's a cause and effect of everything. Uh, thoughts, material things, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And the universe is, um, they're working on, and always um, moving forward to sustain balance. That we know because otherwise it would self-destruct. It cannot be and work with anything else but focusing on uh, striving for balance continuously. It's not something that you get to the destination. It's continual. And that's what we're trying to show that we continue to work on is working on um, that delicate dance with the stars it's you know continuously being in that beautiful flow 
And when we go into those stagnant areas, we start feeling things. And that's, we, we don't want to, we want to stay away from that. We want to stay in that constant, beautiful flow that's working with the balance. Just like a, an elegant dance between a couple, mm -hmm. they're in that flow. And that's what we're um, seeking to get into that state and um, work on the principles of the universes. And people, I, I believe, you know, it's important for people to choose their level of balance because that can be also different for different people. You know, some people say... And no two will be the same. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, it's like definition of health or definition of whatever, you know. Um, uh, so some people say my balance is to eat some days and fast some days. Other people would say, well, I've done a very long fast and many long fast and I feel the most balanced fasting um, and I don't mind seeing myself fasting for the rest of my life so you know it's not the yeah I mean it's really it's really a very interesting experience I think it's very interesting yeah, it's very confusing as well because people do long fast disappear and then come back and say I gotta get back in there I never felt so freaking good <laughs> I want to get back in there it's everybody's gonna have their, their own journeys um, but but know, be at peace with everything. What we what we do know is that the more you go in, into the there's no plateau at MFS. We haven't seen any plateau. The more you go in, the more your awareness starts expanding. The more you'll start seeing. The more you'll start understanding, and the more um, you will uh, go into the place where. Um, is, is this where you want to go or do you want to jump back into the heavier material place and everybody's going to find that balance of and also the less attachment go. to the physicality yeah the longer we go on the fast like, there is the attachment there's definitely more freedom with less you, you, <laughs> when, when you're on a long digestive vacation it, all the fears just melt away they melt away and and then you start going back into an eating state and these weird fears start coming through and you're going, what like the depression. hell's going on, man? Where does this come from? Yeah. I don't know if anybody else has experienced yeah, like they want to share because I've experienced that and um, it's, it's pretty interesting, you know. Um, I remember... I, 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 I feel it. Like, I feel it with my MFS family. Like, if I know already... Like, because in a way, um, Gino and Rana, you hold the energy in the MFS realm. So if something is not feeling, I feel it like instant. It's like an instant thing and I get it. Because remember when I said to you, I um, went into my dense body for three hours and I lost my observed state and I lost the divinity for three hours and I went through a heartbreak, a massive heartbreak. It was like, it was like infinity that uh, that presence wasn't there. So you, there's a lot of stuff that goes on with these energies around you that it teaches, the, God, the soul teaches you, but it always gives you lessons anyway from that, whatever you go through. Um, but yeah, you, uh, I've, yeah, it's, you got it. That's the stuff that I think when you, when it's not about you anymore and it's about the consciousness and I call MFS my little mini consciousness of my little teaching area. Cause I can't go out in the big wide world, even though I feel it. But like if something happens to you and Rana, man, I just like it happens. Not that it happens to me, but I go, freaking hell, they're brilliant. All I, we know what I say. You're freaking eating. That's what I say. <laughs> oh, so it's amazing. This journey is just so interesting. Like you feel everybody, and you go, wow. But I, I tell you something. Your body goes through adaptations when you go through this process. You know, I already know. I already know before beforehand. You're not going to eat, eat like how you used to eat before. And um, if I was planning to eat, but God, my soul would guide me because you trust that so much and you surrender to it. It would guide you because you know the system, right? You know the foundations, 101 of um, MFS. If you don't know the foundations of 101 of MFS, how do you know they're going to break? Like, how do you know? It's like anything, you know, you know. And you just, go, you just slip back into it. You go, okay, maybe you might try a tiny bit of watermelon or have a bit more different juices and, and then move in, into into breaking before you uh because your body can't, your body adapts to more closer to um that way of not eating your organs and everything like it just makes common sense to like sense to me 
like we're still in the physical world, we're still in this realm, this matter world, and you've got to be very, very, it's lifetime. Like you've done three decades, do you know? You know, it's, um, it's forever. Like I remember you said to me ages ago, oh, yeah, nine years is the beginning. I'm going, oh, God. <laughs> The idea is just the beginning, opening the door. <laughs> it's very true. <laughs> yeah. How you going, Sue? Sue's got a blue top on. <laughs> Are you fasting, Sue? Did you do a dry fast dry after four more? I did. It was a short one, though. I haven't been able to do really long ones for a while. I did a 45. Um, the last time we did the full moon, um, this time I I blew it. I, I did twenty four is all. But I'm eating right now. I'm I'm finally enjoying eating. Uh, it took me a long time. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. So yeah, it's, it's 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 when the harvest is over. When we get into that wonderful state of fasting state, that you, there's just, just no comparison with eating, right? So um, we, we, that's why I say I love to eat, but I love fasting way more. So I enjoy both, but there's just no comparison between sure. them, right? There's no comparison. No, no there's just not. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You're, you're cutting out. Sorry. You were cutting out. I'll go back in the house. <laughs> <laughs> the connection's bad out here. <laughs> okay. Okay, but go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's okay. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, mo most people are just not going to stop eating that we know. In this realm, this is not going to happen. It's going to be very, very, very few people until there's a ma massive shift of consciousness that everybody, you know, stops eating physical foods. It's not going to happen. It's going to be on a very small scale of people, and uh, it, it's it's not a problem. But we know that we can do it um, and expand on non-eating and using. It's not that we're not eating. We're shifting our choice of where we get our energy from from the heavy matter into the limitless realms where it's infinite uh, type, infinite types of energies we can tap into. So that's the difference. We, we cannot stop um, absorbing energy. It has to, we have to shift our consciousness to be able to understand that there's different forms of energy and the belief system, it takes a while for that to catch on. So we do it little by little by little and we start, you know, expanding our you know fasting days over the uh, months and years and uh, it's, it's not something that's going to sh shift overnight that's for sure um, so we can all do a part-time we, we, we were even when we we're eating seven days a week we we're still doing a part-time uh, most of us because we're you know we're sleeping that eight hours a day average whatever um, I know some people that get up in the middle of the night I've, I've ran into that could not uh, sleep through a night. They would get up in the middle of the night and, and have to eat or drink because they're so blocked up. And those cases are extreme, but they do exist. <laughs> and if you're in one, in one of those in that state, you got to start digging if you want to make some changes. <laughs> but um, yeah, you know, it's, uh, we're all uh, going to go through unique experiences and we're all going to go through um, uh, different uh, avenues of where we want to be and what we want to uh, achieve, et cetera, et cetera. Um, the simpler we make our lives, the, the more um, I feel you're going to be in that balanced state. Uh, the more you bring into your lives, um, the more things and so on and so forth, the more you get into those confused states and uh, your head starts spinning. Uh, just simplify everything from A to Z and uh, watch how uh, much less you'll be confused. Um, it's just a beautiful place to be um, when you uh, don't have much things to uh, fill the mind. Um, if you, I don't know if you've ever experienced just cleaning out a house of old stuff that's lying around or anything, 
it's a relief in the mind. It's a, it's a relief. And it's the same thing with our physical body. Right? We're getting rid of that old caca. And it's a relief. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of people who just cannot, they don't want to let go of all those old things. The material things are the caca within their body. They can't let it go. They don't want to let it go. And that's what I've seen in three decades. It's just, we want to hold on to these things, right? Um, so, um, we all have free will. You can do whatever you like. <laughs> you yeah. to in metamorphosis state, we know what to do. <laughs> How's Jeremy? Is Jeremy going? Because Jeremy's doing really well, I think. Um, Gino, are you there, mate? My GC mate, yeah. are you there? Yeah. yeah. How are you going? I'm going good. I'm going really good. I'm on um, uh, I'm 65. I'm actually feeling really good. The last one was quite challenging. I spoke early at um, 59 hours and quite warm, but this one is um, going really smoothly. I think um, since the last one, this one I'm still can barely hear you. Ah. A lot of noise. Is that any better? Not really. A lot of feedback. What I heard Jeremy say, Gino, that he's actually doing pretty well. He's, yeah, because yeah, awesome. he's going, because I think he must be close to 70 or something, Dave. And, uh, oh, I've got feedback now. I've got feedback now. <laughs> is, is that better? Can you hear me better now? Is that, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm doing really good. I'm on day 70 now, which I'm really happy with. I know some people say, like, numbers don't matter, but kind of a milestone for me, 10 weeks. And um, I give myself those little milestones. And um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm currently 65 hours into my um, monthly 72 and it's going really good. Um, it's surprisingly easy um, compared to the last one. Last one I was really struggling. I only um, got, I only uh, made it 59 hours in and I broke it. And I think um, that's probably, you know, since, this one and the last one, I've cleared a, you know, a ton of shit for my body. Well, I definitely have, you know, um, just, you know, huge amounts. And, um, yeah, things are going really good. Things are going really good. Um, I'm just doing this. Um, well, I, I'm planning to do um, the 108. I've got no intentions of um, stopping. Um, I think it's the time is right. And circumstance uh, circumstances right and got all the support and um you know just the right place in my life and um yeah yeah things are really good things are really good things are yeah things are good okay yeah just you you understand coming out you, you're never going to go back to where you were you you won't be a happy no. camper. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm kind of um as I've progressed, you know, over into this fast and you know, I'm you know, you know, bit by bit, you know, I'm seeing a bit more of the mirror of truth and you know, only a little bit, but you know. Um, yeah, my kind of ideas keep changing on me and to be honest, right now I yeah, I don't really wanna, you know, perhaps just just um, mono watermelon you know four days a week and three days mfs or you know just watermelon and awesome. oranges because six are in season all, all year round here in australia and just really really light um light fruits so i've got a lot of, a lot of to do. um awesome. yeah so um yeah under dry are you doing uh, dry dry complete dry dry no, I'm um, um, I'm taking the um, kidney tea and and um, and herbs um, twice a day. Um, You're doing small amounts. Yeah, yeah, dry, dry, wet, kind of. Awesome, and uh, you'll see yeah. over you know over the months and years you you be able to expand a little more and more and more on those drives. Um, and every time you. <laughs> 
you do a dry, you, you know, if you go through some challenges, you'll see the next time you go through, oh, okay, I can go a little more and a little more and a little more. And that's, that's, how, that's how it works. Um, and it, as you're getting, you know, flushing and flushing and flushing, your body will be able to handle it more and more and more because um, the more you get that plasma vacuum tube cleaned out of those obstructions, the more you're going to tap into the uh, body being able to feed and hydrate itself. And that's really the only thing that it does, that does do that. It's just we're doing all the other things and we're making the body do things that it wasn't really meant to be. Um, it's just, uh, it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's kind of been a lot, you know, far less challenging. I'm still feeling um, quite good, um, quite good. And, you yeah, know, I'm, I'm looking forward to breaking it. At, um, it'll be four o'clock here, um, Aussie time. And, um, yeah, just get some, you know, get the um, uh, bubbly in and, you know, the tea and, um, you know, just get the juice in and, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's, this one's been good. It's, yeah, it's going really good for me. Awesome. Embrace and keep riding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, I'm feeling a lot... Um, a lot less emotional. Like I kind of, you know, have this whole idea of, um, you know, you, you know, the external doesn't, you know, affect you unless you allow it to. But uh, with that being said, like last month was really, really rough. Um, and I kind of do think it, a lot of it was to do with, you know, um, the astrological events and all that, and um, just, you know, like family stuff and all this childhood trauma stuff coming up and all that. But I've of course, yeah. gone through that and I'm feeling um, really kind of clear you know this month and i think i moved a lot of you know crap not only out of my body but just um emotionally and mentally and um yeah so hopefully it's a bit more of a smooth ride um from now onwards but still you know i'm still um prepared you know prepared for whatever comes i'll handle it the best i can yeah, and emotions come up. First thing you do is an enema. <laughs> oh, yeah. And breath work, you know, because there's it, it's, it, these the emotions, we, we, we lock them into our physicality because you can't separate them in this realm, right? And so yeah. it, it, all those things help, you know, and uh, you know, it's, uh, it's amazing uh, tools that we, we have and so simple. Yeah, yeah a lot of times that's, that's up, yeah, you know, it's, gotten up in the morning and just been really just, you know, angry or, you know, or something that happened, you know, the day before and it didn't really affect me the day before, but just, it, you know, it's almost like my body processed the emotion of something in the morning or I don't know. And it just like, it, you know, hits me and I always, you know, um, do, do an enema in the morning and do some more in the afternoon. And, you know, um, on a couple of occasions I've done that morning in the enema and all that just anger and whatever, I'm feeling it's just like, you know, being just washed away and same with the colonic, um, really, you know, quite, you know, angry and different emotions sometimes. And the, um, this specialist as I'm, you know, they put the water into you and then as, um, as I'm releasing, she's massaging my liver and the water that's coming out is like bright yellow and, um, <laughs> you know, leaving those colonics and, and lots too, like just lots, like lots of the bright yellow, like, just stuff coming out, like a lot of stuff coming, you know, and I'm leaving those colonics driving home and I just feel even, even, even better than anima, like just like anger and just, yeah, I don't know, you know, I, you know, I don't pretend to know how it all works, but you know, I just, I can really, I can really feel it though. You know, I can Do you really feel, feel any it. burning with those releases? A any what, sorry? Any burning sensation, like heat? Heat uh, near the anima. Not really. Oh, yeah, um, sometimes it's not. Uh, uh, yeah, not, not really. These are toxins. Uh, yeah, I remember many, many, many years ago when I started dumping all that yellow stuff, and I was getting burning <laughs> coming out. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of ammonia and all kinds of stuff. Old yeah. locked up bile, stagnant bile. Ammonia. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and that yeah. Mine, the bright yellow release, that smells really bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't smell it uh, during colonics, but maybe when you, if you go to the bathroom and you release it after, 
use it's very very it's nasty stuff, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <We love. laughs> yeah. Yeah. that stuff stains the uh, speculums eight eh? hands oh. <laughs> right and the toilet too oh yeah absolutely yeah absolutely like I, I remember I, I said to you now like when when i started at, at the first one just got completely brown and and now, I mean, I, I can show you the now it just doesn't. Yeah. Once, once you clean, <laughs> but it's a, it's a process. You know? It's like anything, like you've just gone through all that. It, it just takes time. It takes time. You got, and again, the repetitiveness is what, 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 what really uh, brings the benefits. Falling off, man, do it. as, more as a, But come back and repetitive, repetitive, repetitive. Never yeah. Yeah, yeah, the good old speculum. Yeah, yeah, actually, <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's just oh, a... that's the current. Oh, oops, a daisy. <laughs> <laughs> that's the current one. See, nothing. And I've used that now for I don't know how many years. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in probably internally because you can't really, but it's as I said, it's just not. Yeah. yeah. That's, see that? It's funny, but that. That is also that that puts a smile on your face too, you know, because you know right. you're doing the right thing, you know, you, you you're getting there. It's like a, an encouragement, you know what I mean? Like when you see things like that, you know what I mean? I, I wish I would have kept the other ones. I really would have wished, but I wasn't thinking that way. I just thought, oh, it's a dirty one. It's got to go I, out. I know because I've been through it. <laughs> <laughs> you did, huh? yeah. It's, but it's good. Yeah, I mean, I look at. You know, like I said, you know, like, mate, because I made my own colon cleanser. I mean, I've got my own colon cleanser, and it's just a, it's a different. Like once you get, and and again, it's it's doing it over and over and over. You know, sometimes in early days, I did it daily, daily. You go daily on it, daily do it, bang, 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 bang. You know, and then after a while, you learn to know your body. You feel when you, like, I mean, yes, I mean, it's been mentioned here too, <clears throat> the clean and unclean food, you know. When you start eating stuff that then really sits in there and it's hard to get through, you know. Like that's, I feel that. I feel that in, in, your, in yourself, you know. And then also when you do, because obviously you wash your large colon and the cleaner you get, the deeper you go with your washing, uh, in so, like uh, it goes right to your cecum, you know, your ileocecal valve that separates la uh, small from large. You feel the water running into your cecum, and you feel that you actually can be massaging, and you know you can manipulate. You can. It's. I find this fantastic. You know what I mean? Like really, it's something that um, it, it's it, it's it's as I say, inspiring. You know, and I use. I'll show you. <clears throat> and I haven't done that yet. Um, Gene and Rana, but remember that wooden ball, see? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I do that. Massage, yeah. Okay. But I haven't put carbon on it yet. You know, <laughs> I put essential oils on it, but I haven't um, put. Yeah, you know, should should really burn it. But I'm just saying that's one. Uh, you know, because I, that's the only one I've got at the moment. But once I get more of those, then I might do that. You know. I made run a big one, a big dowel, and I rounded one end, yeah. both ends, and on one end you can make sharper, and the other one more round, yeah. and just burn it. One, yeah, because it's nice, you know, see, you, I mean, you can use it anywhere else too, you know, like it just rolls nicely, and, and it, it, it really, yeah, <laughs> you know, like when you do, and you feel the water going in, and you just, yeah, it all helps, all part of the tools, you know, all part of. Have so many, it's awesome. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy, for, uh, for the update. update. Awesome. You're doing amazing. Um, <laughs> yeah, no yeah. Yeah, right. keep washing the column as just, much as you can. Just trust, trust, trust. And you know, you come through yeah. some challenging times where we were, that's why we have the board. But just trust and use the tools. The tools will pull you through every time, yeah. you know. And if, you know, it's, you get into a really difficult situation, that's where your belief system is. 
and that you don't feel like you're going to be able to pull yourself out. You got to back off first, break the fast properly, and don't you know, don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, I've actually um, there's been a few days I've just um, back down to um, orange juice, and um, it's been pretty challenging. But yeah, no, I've yeah, no, thank you. That, that helps a lot. Uh, what are you planning to do afterwards? Like after you finish this one? uh i'm i'm thinking like really just like mono fruit meals like mono you know just like one meal a day fruit meals and then just um with liquids with some liquids as well um mostly watermelons and oranges um just really light and you know the citruses are in season all year round and um almost all year round here in australia i love them with lemons and um, watermelons and I'm thinking like a four three kind of thing like four days eating those really light um, you know foods and um, three days MFS um, or something along those lines it's currently it's currently where I'm at awesome all right guys uh, I think we're gonna wrap it up we got a couple of things to take care of and uh, thank you so much Oliver thank you and everyone else, I'll yeah, be thank you. Thanks for having me. It's uh, yeah. it's awesome to be you know with our family here and <laughs> supporting, inspiring each other. Um, you know, this is uh, beautiful. So, uh, just one thing, Oliver, you know, that boomerang, you know, the, the abos used that to hunt birds and yeah. get them down. So, I want to see a bit of a video of you doing that out in the bush. Yeah, just I want to see. If you can hit, I got, I got one on YouTube already. I, I could, I'll fo I could forward you the video. I got, I got a, a couple years ago. I had how to throw a boomerang by Oliver Paul. <laughs> 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 My dad's in it too. <laughs> Just keep us tuned, okay? Just I'll keep make, I'll make more though. I'll make another video. I'll keep, I'll, I'll keep pumping these out. I'm telling you, <laughs> for the children. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hey, Gene, I just wanted to mention, because we, I'm going to be meeting an MFS legend. It's on the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> and uh, he said it's okay for me to mention his name, and that's Andrew Raphael, because he lives around here. And he's supposed to be coming this afternoon, and I'm just going to give him the freaking biggest hug you can ever imagine. Oh he God. doesn't even know what he's going to cop. Oh, I told him, I warned him. I said, if you come in my presence, you know, you know. Uh. You know so... I think he's hanging out for it personally. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and get a photo of him. I'll try and – maybe if we can do a Facebook Live, I'll try and con him if he's got time. But, yeah, so I'm going to meet Andrew. He helped me right at the beginning, Gino, when I started my first 108. This is why these people that come before us are so – we need to honour that. They're so important. They set the they set the path, the pioneers. And um, that's what we do now. We keep setting the path. Yeah. Awesome. So. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> all right everyone thank you yeah. let's keep that plasma right. always flowing <laughs> that's right awesome. ciao ciao ciao